through. Um, we're going to get into this match. We got uh, P2 Bankai and HO3K Dill. Yo, speaking of Nairo, I'm getting flashbacks to Nairo versus Zero right now. Oh, man. Look. Diddy Kong versus Zero Suit Samus, man. They used to be like all over 2015, 2016. Yeah, and then that's when people started realizing that did he kind of body well as he says. Yeah. <laughs> well, the reason he does is because there's not, like, he's just got all these quick burst options that uh, can just kind of, like, beat through Zero Suit Samus. Like, I mean, she's got that frame one jab, but she leaves herself wide open for the grab. She can't. She has trouble connecting the grab, and she leaves herself wide open if she whiffs it, you know? Yeah, and uh, ZSS, since ZSS always has a starter offense by jumping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Diddy Kong, the character that traps your, your, your landings and your jumps. <laughs> like Diddy Kong thrives off of you jumping. Yeah, so it's just like it just makes it hard for GSS to get most of her offense started. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, GSS is still an explosive character. <laughs> and Bonkai is an explosive player. Yeah. We'll see who comes out on top. History has shown us that Dill will probably win this, but you know, we've seen crazier things happen as he knows. Down to Florida? Was the up smash not true? Oh, uh, it doesn't matter, because like I said, up smash. What goes up must come down. GSS has to land and got up smash. You got Dill here, the reigning champion of the three past Xenos. Is he actually? Yeah. That's terrible. He's been, yeah, it, it has been. I just feel like competition for the game has been like yeah. going down a little bit because people are just kind of waiting for ultimate. Yeah. We need to get better. Right? But <laughs> Dill, that's what I'm saying. And, but Dill's still out there just trying to like, you know, if you guys are just going to give me these three wins, I'll take it. But Bankai not going out without a fight, <laughs> catching the monkey flip. And Dill laughing. He's just like, I really just fell into two ZSS <laughs> uppies back to back. Like, Let me just do the is, exact same monkey flip like, twice is, in a row. What is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> a banana peel being thrown upwards. Yeah, I mean, right now, um, yeah, Bankai's just trying to get something started. And Dill is just... Playing the playing the waiting game. Mm -hmm. Like if Bonka ever falling out of that forward smash. Yeah, and that banana right out the air, man. Ooh. Okay. No, couldn't, couldn't get the follow up that he wanted. Nice catch on that landing with the forward air. Yeah, and right now, like Dill is just he's just running away with the set, man. It, it's just like. It's hard for Bankai to really get something started when Dill is playing so patiently on the other side of stage mm -hmm. with an item that will punish you every time you try to approach or land near. It's tough. The thing is, ba Zero Suit Samus with lo like maximum rage, well, you know what, it's a... Down, uh, down to forward air. It went from rage to being sad, you know, you're losing that game number one. Going into the second one, Dill banning Battlefield Dreamland, going to town and city. Low yeah. ceilings. Pretty obvious pick. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, 100%. Like, yeah, even though uh, it is reminiscent of FD, mm -hmm. it still does have a lower ceiling. So ZSS could get some of her ladder setups a lot easier. And when those platforms are in play, that is definitely in her favor. So just try to make the most of it while those platforms are out. Yeah. Um, yeah, but right now, um, yeah, as you know, with that being said, already got the first grab. Starting out a lot better for a Bankai than it did the first one. I guess that neutral into up smash. You got the back there follow. -up. Okay, uh, Dill was trying to read that that roll. He was expecting Bankai to roll left. Still chilling backwards, spacing out Dill with these zares. Yeah, like yeah, and, and it looks like kind of like the same game plan Dill is trying to employ in the last game, but this time Bankai is less. He's less scared to approach, and he's throwing out a lot more of these grabs. Okay. I was like, don't, don't, don't for a second. Can we talk about Diddy Kong down air? Yeah. So Diddy Kong down air, huge hitbox, spikes you at ridiculous percents. Uh -huh. And if you out of a short hop, you could auto cancel down air and do something else. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Of course. Yo, if you ever it's say hype, this, bro. If you ever say this character is less than top four, please block me right now. <laughs> block, block me right now, please. Oh my God. But I mean, good stuff by Dill. Oh, he's going to be wide open for that. I mean, that and was a 50 50 scenario. Is like he's going to drop on the platform or go to the stage. Yeah, and that forward smash actually made him go through, go behind. Okay. Him because he's missing. So, this keeps happening against Bankai is that players will stay in that burrow. They try to mix up when they're going to mash out. But because it takes so long, Bankai just gets the free down smash, F smash. Yeah, I mean, it's one, it's one of those situations where it's kind of just like either way, you're going to die for the most. That's, that's fair. <laughs> like, either you're going to die. It's just Might like, as well rest your hands and not mash out. Or, or just try to mix it up in like the slightest bit. Because more likely than not, let's look at the punch. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, and a good down air followed by Bonkai. He's yeah. being a lot less afraid. Very ballsy. Around. Oh, definitely. Because in, in a matchup like this, you do have to take more chances. Like, knowing that you're already at the matchup disadvantage, you know, in retrospect, but like... Playing safe against Diddy can get a... Like, if you try to chill back, it just allows him to get setups going. Yeah, it just, it just allows him to hold banana, observe what you're doing. You know, throw, maybe throw out a monkey flip, the best command grab in the game. You have all this pressure. He's playing with that banana. All that was plus, man. <laughs> like, you just gotta hold shield and just let him get away with it, and then wait for an opening. And I do, res I do respect that grab by Bankai, because uh, usually Dill would have dashed forward, but he didn't that time. Like, like that's true. Like banana grab point blank. You can't do anything about that. You can jab out of that. Yeah, but he's faced the other way. That's fair. But he, his back was turned. Yeah. Yeah. I good mean, stuff from Dill recognizing yeah, that. Yeah, good stuff from Dill. Not, not letting my man's breathe. <laughs> he literally, not, he not, need, he, <laughs> my man needs oxygen, dude. My guy got the paper, the plastic bag treatment, man. Yeah, I, <laughs> Dill's actually going to get him some uh, air. I'm telling you, he is the whiz robe of the New York scene. I, yeah, like he, he is. He, he literally gets, takes forever the slowest to start of, a game. Slowest sip of water. Look, now he has to fix his hair. Yeah, he's got to fix his, his hair. Put his headphones on. Wait, well, hold on. He's got to make sure his headphones are at the right oh, volume. Wow. Okay, yo, can we, let's run an it's ad. A, let's run an ad. Really, we should honestly run an ad. How's 3,000 followers on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube? I'm mad I was actually able to do that. Now, <laughs> we're gonna go back into and you can't even blame him for trying to defuse the person's momentum because he's the one winning. Like, hello? Man, uh, we're going to go back uh, to the town and the city. And, oh, we got the color switch by Bankai? Ooh. Mm, he's that, that, means, that means he's angry because he's, he's angry. red. He's angry. He's, he's, uh, he's fuming. Angry reacts only? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and see the thing, the thing about that Zare, the Zare approaches, um, Bankai would need to space himself out a little bit more, like a little bit farther away, because like up close you cannot do that. Diddy Kong will always punish you, especially when he has banana in hand, if you like misspace those airs. Yep. Oh, he's trying to catch that landing. Catches oh, yeah. the monkey flip, he's out of jumps, wasn't able to connect that second up air, he could have gotten a lot off of that. Yeah, man, like, you know, Bankai's observing, you know, Dill's uh, monkey flip habits, and, you know, he, Dill definitely could have maybe lost his stock if, you know, Bankai completely converted it. I think that's how, like, Nairo finally got that matchup win against Zero's Diddy, is he, it, was, it was about just reading the monkey flips. Oh, yeah, definitely, and ZS is one of those characters, if he catches you in the air, man, you're definitely done. Mm -hmm. That's what Bankai's starting to do this game. We, have, we haven't really seen that too much in the previous two. More patient Bankai. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, and think about a uh, patient Bankai is a dangerous Bankai. Yeah. I'll say, I'll say that because Bankai is one of those players who he definitely likes to press a lot of buttons, but when he does benefit from pressing less buttons, he's pretty dangerous. Mm -hmm. Right there, he had the right idea. Yeah. It was just a little too slow to the punch. Yeah, that monkey flip's a crazy move, man. That, that hitbox comes out bigger and faster than you think it does. Ooh. That was so brave. Yo, can we talk about that? Dill Yo, knew exactly about what Bankai was gonna do. My God! Threw that banana up in the air in case you, in case you. Yeah. I saw Devin save the replay, so we'll talk about it after oh the set. Oh my God! I didn't, man. That was a uh, man. Good I mean, call out. Yeah. That's all I can say, man. Yeah, that that was just good gameplay from yeah, Dill. Good call out, man. But, I mean, let's see if Bankai can take the stock. Because. If, if Bankai could take the stock, you know, he could maybe get string some stuff together. Mm -hmm. Try to find a little bit of momentum. Ooh, and he, I, it looked like he wanted to get that back out so he didn't really get it out in time. Yep, and he yeah. got it back, got it out that time. Got him. <laughs> Just hit him with your heels, man. Yeah, banana, banana in hand. Oh, okay. Threw it away. He's only at 48% too, so you know this is not bad territory for ZSS whatsoever. Okay. Ooh, good patience. Try to apply that pressure. Dash attack! Oh my god. Is that a misinput? Yeah, it was a misinput, but uh, Bankai definitely wanted to punish that at shield, but came out of shield too early. Mm. Got that peel ready to go. I mean, a lot of times yeah. you'll see Dill just throwing those peels just to try to like set up something. I mean, if that platform was there. Sometimes it's just, it becomes like luck. It's like, I hope the platform is going to be underneath me so I can like continue this. Yeah, I mean, and sometimes also stage awareness. Like, if you know the platform's at a certain angle, you could maybe try to force the character you're hitting mm -hmm. to the platform so you can try to get a follow-up that you want. But, you know, it didn't work out for like that for Bunker Saber. And the down tilt. <laughs> Slaps He clapped him. <laughs> Slaps, yes, just grab away. Like, are you stupid? Ooh, okay, I respect it. 
He also knows that Bonkai is like never going for grab. Oh yeah, no, too big of a punish. Oh, that was a, that was uh, definitely supposed to be a forward smash free. Forward smash. That 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 was the set. Hey, but right now, you know, given given Bonkai, you know, a little bit of breathing. Not gonna be able to get that. Be able to double jump away from that for free. Too high a percent. That's a connect. And yeah, that down smash to save. Good down smash by the little Bonkai. Bonkai just needs one good read, but it's not gonna be given to him. We got the banana peel coming from Dill into a connection of an up smash three. Oh. Yeah, I mean, strong, you know, strong showing by Dill. And, uh, you know, it is a tough matchup for ZSS, but Bankai was, he's play, he was playing well. You know, I mean, hats off to Bankai, mm -hmm. you know. He was, he was playing well, but Dill, man, you know, Dill's been on a tear, like you said. So he was he was bringing it back. Sometimes you need to get into, get into the mind zone. You get, get mental state. <laughs> yeah, I mean, against Adi, maybe he needs it. <laughs> <laughs> right into playing against Adi. Holy crap. Okay. Yes. All right right now, um, you know, Ray, our resident Rosamain, big brain aficionado, mm -hmm. um, up against um, Odyssey. Yeah, unfortunately, when uh, DeBuzz can't Woo! make it out here, we got Ray coming out and putting up a fight. You see him trying to catch that down smash? Yeah, the, the creativity is flowing through his brain right yeah, now. Yeah, I wonder it's why. It's flowing, it's flowing through his blood. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right now, man, all these big red plays coming out right now. And Ray, you know, Ray playing back just to try to scout out the recovery from, um, from Odyssey. He tried to get that Fox solution, gets back to center stage, and deletes Luma in the and, process. And wow! The, and the thing that sucks about that is he got rid of Luma just for recovery. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, Ray, it was Ray like not <laughs> completely accidental. And Ray could have done nothing about that. Yeah, fourth throw's not going to be able to catch Luma. Ooh, that, I mean, the Luma control with Ray, you know, Keeping Luma on the stage on purpose. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Adi's been playing out of his mind today, and I think he's on course to win this tournament. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, you can quote me on that. Yeah, you know, yeah. Odyssey looks like he's been playing pretty well this whole tournament. Maybe Ray will try to like defuse it. Oh yeah, no. Um, I mean, right now, I mean, Ray's only taking 27. percent Oh wow! He stuck that out with the jab. Push Did side B it? again. He just slapped him. Oh, but right now, um, no Luma and uh, Rose is by him by herself. Oh no, re-grab the ledge, he oh, had yeah. to. Yeah, immediate Nair. We're gonna get punished really hard for that. Oh yeah, that Nair is safe. Good spacing by Adi. Mm -hmm. Up tilt's a very strong option. Tries to get that two frame. Yeah, and <laughs> Luma extended that hurt box. Go take another drink, dog. Yeah, you need another, it. Take, yeah, take there he goes. Box. Please do it. For the culture. <laughs> for the culture, bro. Yo, 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 cut, he yo, yo, cut, yo, cut, yo, cut. He needs it. Yeah. This is, this yep. is us. This yep. Is yep. Us. Yep. Yes. yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. So, Amen. that was uh, yo, 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 yo. jumping into this game number two. Hey, we have here. Let's see. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we jump into here. Dude, I'll, I'm, I'm about it. I'll do it. Okay, Hottie versus Ray. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna go to Smash World this time. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh that extra platform moving on the sides. He wants to get some uh, alleviation from Odyssey's pressure. Wow, just caught. I mean, that forward air. I guess he was expecting uh, Ray to like jump up after him, try to get that young follow up. Yeah. And and little thing Odyssey is doing when he's um recovering with side B, he's going a little bit higher than um Luma's down tilt, so he avoids that whole that whole uh, punish. See if Ray can catch on to that. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot of Fox Illusions coming out. And we're finally getting that punch from Ray. Unfortunately, the Smashville platform was there to help him assist, to give yeah. him another option back to the stage. That was... Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was an awkward position because Odyssey... Odyssey was really close to the edge. Did you? That's kind of a weird option for uh, Odyssey to go for a rapid jab against Luma. Like, why not just dash stack? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he just got stuck in his animation. He's like, well, I'm yeah. hitting Luma anyway. He's like, I might as well, I'm already going for it. Going he super died. deep. Good tech from Adi. Still died. Not the second time, he though. He died, man. Dang. <laughs> when you go that low. Ooh, he tried to get that drag. Oh, my God. If he got that. He is. Oh, my Yo. God. No. No. Okay. That, Adi had to do that double jump <laughs> to get back to stage. <laughs> Yo, Ray's insane, man. His, his Luma control is like, it's not fair. His Luma control is out of control. He still doesn't have a jump. The thing is, it's difficult to do. Yeah, no, it, it really is. He doesn't have wow. a jump. Use all, he uses both the jumps. Oh, and he lands with back air. When you're that brave to just stand still the entire time until he finally gets into range and then just throw out the up smash. Oh, and that forward smash didn't even kill Luma. Kay. And 
You know what he does? He side beats right into Rose again. Is he dead? Yeah, yep. He, good night. Really bye bye. Man. Yo, Ray. Yo, Adi wish he had some of that. Adi's not old enough. I see you, Ray. D <laughs> hey, yo. Cheers. 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 Oh my God. Cheers. Cheers. To Ray. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. good stuff. It feel. It feels good going down. Feels man. good, man. Feels good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, Ray, Ray with the inspiration. Ray, <laughs> going, going, going to town and city against Adi. He's not, I mean, the thing is, when you do something like that, like, you're going to get rid of the fear. Oh, yeah, no, no fear at all. No fear. That's, like, the best thing. It's honestly a power-up when you think about it. Yeah, all, yeah, all fear. All, no fear, all heady, man. Yeah, no fear. <laughs> the only fear you need to feel is taking that first drink. Oh, oh my God, he died. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was disgusting. That was disgusting. Off the that was disgusting. Like, he's dead. That was disgusting. <laughs> God. Oh my goodness. Dude, no amount of Henny's gonna save you that from was that. Disgusting. No amount. I'm trying to get that uh, combo. I mean, Fox is a uh, fast faller, so stuff like that can't connect. Yeah, I mean, Rose is one of those characters that could make you explode. Also. Oh, okay. Try to get that down tilt. That down tilt would have connected. Audio would have been a bad spot. Oh yeah, no, bad position. Rosa down there, Rosa Luma down there combination. Just getting down to from Rosa off the off the edge is just a ba really bad feeling. One of the wor one of the worst feelings in this game. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> puts you at the worst position possible, down and away. And I'll take Witch Twist any day over that. Oh yeah, I I'll I'll say that. I'll rather get by Bay was down tilt than Rosa's down tilt in our view. Ooh. Okay. You yeah. saw Audi going. He was trying to bait out like a roll. Oh yeah. Oh, and now no platforms now. Yeah. Rosa away and no Luma. Bad timing. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, okay. Yeah, and Ray, I don't think Ray expected to land on the stage like that. Yeah, because he's all just walking. I think he wanted the ledge. I say, I see, has no jumps. We tried to side B again. Ray called that out with a dash. Okay, just in case he went for the side B immediately, he had the down smash ready to go. The Luma reversing the tables, yo, 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 but wasn't yo, able to connect got, that up there. He air. actually got out three up airs <laughs> in the top. Sneaky, he was in the air. That's ridiculous. Ooh, we got I those? mean, yeah. We got I, those. I, I see that. I remember that from 2017. Yeah, we got those. You remember that? Uh, I remember DeBuzz doing that to the kill stage, and I just like oh, lost yeah. my mind. That was terrible. Yeah. I yeah. That. It lasted longer too. Like it was just like, what is happening? That was an old Zeno. Yeah, that was really old. But okay. the old, old location. I get you. Oh, cross up, Ooh. easy. Yeah, and yeah, and right. And you know what? He actually. <laughs> He's going for more. He has to go for more, because he actually could have punished that. Is that fireable? He actually could have punished that. Um, he just mistimed his punish. What is happening? Is <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Zeno is lit. Hey, man. This is happening. <laughs> hey, this is us. This is us. What do you think he... <laughs> what do you think Adi's hey, thinking? Hey, like, uh, he's thinking drink more water? I've never... He's like, he's like hey, can I get an extra refill of my water bottle? I have, I have never seen Ray drink in my life, and this is just really funny to see him do it like it in, in the it middle of a tournament it match. It doesn't matter. He's going to win. Look! Look at Odyssey. He's just like you, you heathens, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay healthy, keep growing, my young, young body. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't understand. Well, Adi's 16. Water and so like, you <laughs> <laughs> is he dead? Yes. <laughs> Yo, take that waters and vegetables. Take that water Yo. and vegetables. All I need is honey and dreams. <laughs> 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 Yo, take that tequila. Yo, take okay. that. Take that. How goes bad for you, dog? Yo. Yo. <laughs> yes. Yo, what? Yo, is he? Yo, okay, oh, he he's, back. he's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's chill. We chill. We chill. Oh my god. What? What an explosive start. They, they both lost their socks within 40 seconds. God, <laughs> that's the one, dream. one stock game. That's honestly the dream, right? So, ooh, that was a very risky fire Wow, oh, wow. Okay. Okay, using the shine to stall. I like it. Yeah, like it. Got the down air punish. Tech J situation. Okay. Ooh. He thought he was going to not double jump. Gets back onto the stage. Oh, yeah. Luma's gone. Yeah, Luma's gone again. Okay, you know, this is this is time for Odyssey to rack up some percent because right now he's at 66. He's got to get this ball rolling. But Ray's chilling because he's waiting for Luma okay. to come back. Yeah, Ray's chilling. I think he'll take that. Read up? Yes. Yeah, got that punish. Get up attack really risky. 
Yeah, and like honestly, spamming that side because he knows that he's pr pretty much hitting Luma for free. Mm -hmm. Not only is he hitting Luma, it's pr Ooh. like he's not really getting punished for it either. Reads the air dodge up air one more time. Adi Ooh, coming I down with that <gasps> strong neutral air. Oh yeah, and Luma's dead again. I gotta give Adi something. He's really good at getting rid of the Luma. Yeah, I mean right now off stage. Yeah, and Ray. I don't think Ray has caught on to that yet. Wow, oh, oh my, that he was just scary. full hop, <laughs> full scary. empty yeah. hop. <laughs> it's like, what do you do? You just freeze. Everybody, everybody's quiet for that one. Oh, wait, that whiff! You missed. You, you didn't get that. Punished. Was the set? Yes, Luma. Yeah, yeah. He is that, done. We're terrible feeling. Terrible. He is out of here. And, and the thing about that is, no matter what Ray does, he can just down there in the general vicinity of Odyssey, and he's gonna die. Because Luma's gonna send you sideways to the black. This kid, zone. don't stop. Hey man, can yo, hey, look at that, look at that. He's gonna, he's gonna have a breakfast champ. He's gonna put, yo, put that in your yo, Wheaties. Yo, kill that. Put, <laughs> put that, that in your Wheaties. Put in that, put that in your Wheaties, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> is he, gonna, is he gonna kill it? Yeah, man. No, yo. no, no. He's, still, yo, he, he's saving some for the next Ray, set. Yo, he knows does, he's gonna Ray win. Ray does not care about the vegetables in your meal plan. Okay? Not at all, dude. My man, go, my, go, my man goes to the cafeteria table. And he's like, can I just get a henny? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want your mac and cheese. Like, yo, mac and mac and what? Cheese? I'm I'm macking and chilling. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, but right now, man, like, you know, with that being said, this is a very very intense set by both of them. Um, even though Ray did lose a stock pretty early, that was from an SD. That was so scary. I'm shocked he went. Yeah, he took her to town. Like, I get it. Fox likes town, but against Rosa. Yeah, I mean, no, Fo no, Fox definitely benefits from the stage. Also, yeah, yeah. Um, it's one of the things. Like, the whole matchup is pretty much a double-edged sword. Because it's like someone's gonna explode. We just don't know who. Yeah, someone's gonna explode. Doesn't matter what stage you pick. It looks like it's gonna be Adi. No, and this is great, great DI coming from Adi. Um, ooh, and that tech chase, man. Dude, Ray's playing on point. 120 percent tacked on him really fast, but he has no. Ooh, okay. That what a brave launch start. And, and no, he had to do that, man, because Adi would have hit him with that forward air. Would attack no Can you imagine getting dragged down at 37 percent? We have this big of a lead. Down tilt. Ooh. That yeah, was and Nair mm. punish, Nair punish, and he did that without the Luma too. All that was was single Rosa. So I mean, good, I mean, good solo Rosa gameplay by uh, Ray. Dude, Ray's about to get into winners finals after beating Adi. Yeah, man. This could, I mean, be, I mean, it's not done yet. Yeah, not done yet, man. Odyssey is a very explosive player. If there's anybody who could run it back in a short amount of time, it's, it's Adi. Adi or VV. Ooh, and he got. Did you see that Luma? His Luma conversions are like ridiculous. Just got on point. Yeah, da down air with Lo uh, Luma to. Porto. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead! And Ray did the same exact. <laughs> Ray, okay. The set came full circle because Odyssey literally did that to Ray on the stage. He put him up in the air, waited for the air dodge, and up air him. Done. In the, the whole, magnifying glass. The whole set came full circle. <laughs> That's a good spot to put that. I like that a lot. Okay, so we're going to jump into this next set. Bankai facing off against Zane. Uh, and this is the second Bayo that he's had to play today. He played Ralphie's own, uh, uh, and he lost to Ralphie's Bayo. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I mean, let's see if he took something from that set and he could, like, you know, bring it back. Yeah, because again, he just got sent to losers, and uh, I always call this the Bankai Classic, which is unfavorable for him. But like, he gets the winner semis, and then he goes zero two in top eight. Ooh. So let's see if he can try to break this curse today. And you know what? Zane's coming off a strong win uh, against Our Hungry, so you know he's definitely riding high right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a while ago, like in terms of like, it's like an hour ago or so, so the, the momentum might have like eased off, but who knows? We'll see. Yeah. Okay, they're out spacing each other. Very risky grab. Didn't get too much off of it. Uh, down tilt was a little bit too far away. Monkey crouching, moving away. Ooh, and he got that. That, that actually he, connected. And he got that confirmed. He's man. out. He is out of there. Again? Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, Bonkai is, you know, on top of it right now. He took that stock at what, 70, 75%? Yeah, that is something somewhere around that pretty low percent. Oh, he, we, oh. Ooh, we are you those. trying to do sneaky stuff? Go, go for that Mars stuff, man? Yeah. I know, he, I already knew he was counterpicking, you know, Falcon and FD. I didn't know he was doing the Mars stuff also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. He's, okay. Ooh, he went for that forward smash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right now, Bonka is all over him. Okay, try to read that with the back air. Didn't, yeah. Didn't get it. ABK is really big hitbox. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Zane's been using ABK a lot. Like, like he'll use it once and he'll use it immediately again to try to chase his opponent. 
Okay, landing with Nair with it to the grab. Good mash out. Bong guy's really good at mashing out of grabs. Like, you cannot rely on pummels against this man. Oh, yeah, Minnow, yeah. His fingers are probably a shot right now. Yeah. That's the goal. He want to wear down his fingers. Um, but right now, um, Zane sitting at 79%. Couldn't take that kill with a forward throw at the edge. I mean, sometimes it's just okay to just, like, take the grab from Bale because her grabs, her throws are not going to kill you until at least 160. Oh, yeah. And that has to be at the ledge of the stage. Yeah, exactly. Like, center stage, like, grabs, who cares? Ooh, and Bankai calling out that jump with a forward. I didn't get both hits, though. Ooh, fair one? Ooh. Fair one. Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay, low percents, <laughs> Yo, low percents, low okay. percents. We're alive. Yo, that was wild, man. That was that was the biggest brain. Called out the air dodge. Super Mensa out here. Okay. Yeah, and a good, good Zaire spacing. Ooh, yeah. Um, I mean, that covers a lot of options, man. That flip jump, just that active hitbox. That, I think that literally covers every single option except for maybe roll on. And I think or pay or just hang there. And but even hang there, like that hitbox, that kicking hitbox. The invincibility wars off, yeah. Yeah, and you could get hit on the ledge, um, jumping. That could also hit your jump, yeah. Uh, maybe roll in. Ooh, is, was, was he thinking about it? What's happening? Counter pick. He's thinking about switching over to a different character. Yeah, so Falcon. Yeah, Z Zane. Okay, Zane actually used to main Captain Falcon. Really? Zane used to ca main Captain Falcon like beginning of Smash 4. Oh, wow. Um, but I don't know the last time he's played Captain Falcon. Um, We're about to find out. And he's also a man of many characters also. I'm okay. Sure that, yeah, so. Giving Zane some history. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Well, I mean, a little surprised he pulled Bust out the Captain Falcon right now. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's played him. Well, the two bounty hunters, man, of Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, what? Right, well, I mean, as it looks right now, like Zane, his movement looks pretty, like, pretty good. Like he he comes into this pretty ready. And I remember I was talking to Dill yesterday, and he mentioned that like Captain Falcon's kind of like a cloud without a sword. You know, he's very similar to Cloud. He's gonna be ser uh, searching for a lot of neutral airs. Get some combo starting. Wow, Jeez. that grab! Excuse, me. yo, his okay, his his up air conversions are like. Pretty good. Okay, that was a. You, know, you were hoping for Bankai to air dodge. Hey, I mean, there. I respect it. He only got. He only, well, he yeah. only got one grab. Punish it wasn't off. a big punish. Yeah. Low risk, high reward. I like it. Yeah, and that. Oh my god, that roar in here? Maybe this is the mix up that <laughs> Zane needs. This Bankai, I don't think, is ready for this aggression. Yeah, I mean, because right. Like, his bail was more reserved, less in your face. And this Falcon, look, he's moving all. He <laughs> almost got that down air? Yeah, his, his Falcon, look, he's moving all over the place. Any air Those dodge back, ever. How many back airs can you avoid? My man was playing Ninja Warrior there for a second. Ooh. Oh, no punish? Oh, what? oh the back air. Oh, you're wild. Okay, oh, let go shield, No please. punish? Excuse me? This is not a game of punishing. This uh, is a game of push button. Excuse me? Can we, uh, can I get a uh, actual punish? <laughs> there you go. Okay. Dash tag. Yeah, got that single up there. Yeah, um, it seems like Zane's Zane's punishes are pretty reserved. It looks like he knows what he can and can't get. He's not going for a lot of like crazy extensions that you see sometimes out of players, mm -hmm. especially especially with characters that seem like they're secondary or pocket. Oh, he went super deep up there. And Zane, and Zane wasn't scared at all. He didn't. You didn't get an air dodge. Didn't press the button. Again, another Raptor boost. Hey, man, I respect because the first time he didn't really get punished for it. So he was just like, maybe why not? Did Bonkai just taunt? Uh, I, I guess so. Ooh. Yeah, we're taunt out here. Taunt to back air true combo. The thing is, taunts are good in this game, man. It can, it, sometimes you can put your opponent on edge. Make them make some uh, risky mistakes. But Zane's not going to fall for it, dude. Yeah, man. Like, he he's on top of Bonkai's ledge options right now. At this point, he just needs one crisp back air. Close out this game. Okay, yeah, and <laughs> Bonka hasn't touched the middle of the stage in a, in a good couple seconds. He has yeah. not maintained uh, I mean, center. you'll see Zane's movement down there. Like, he's <gasps> What? Yo, the stutter step forward smash up tilt? Up, up tilt to neutral? That killed up the top? Up tilt in the middle of the stage. Thank you, Devin. Uh, so, Devin. <laughs> exclamation point Falcon in chat. Actually, do that, seriously. <laughs> yeah, please. For the fans. For the culture. So every time that Falcon wins, by the way, Devin will be increasing the volume for his victory theme. So we hear that guitar riff. So just be prepared for that. Game number three, one to one. Who knows, switching from Bayo to Falcon would actually give him the edge that he needs. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's just like a change of pace. Um, I guess you want to match Bankai's speed. 
because right now it looks like he's kind of overwhelming Bankai with, you know, his movement and his, his neutral. It's very rare to see that Bankai is the one getting overwhelmed by something, you know? Yeah. Like, that it, that's something that just kind of doesn't happen. It's usually Bankai overextends and gets punished for it, but, like, yeah. now we're seeing that, like, Bankai can't keep up. But as Ooh. I say that, he is keeping up with these double back airs. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the taunt? Another Ooh. taunt? Not yeah. phased. Yeah, Ryan is not phased at all. Yeah, because he DI'd in, so that double back air was true. Okay. Yeah, like I said, you know, he's taking one punish and, you know, just resetting neutral, but right now, Bankai is getting a lot of these extensions. 44, 41%. Very Adaptation, cool. man. Bankai starting, okay, you're playing Falcon. I know what your game plan is now. Let's Ooh, play. Did he try to read that with the knee? Did he try to do that? Yeah, and Bankai just playing in front pressure? of the shield. Yeah. Like, there's nothing you can do except for hold shield. This is what I expected from Bankai. Yeah, read that neutral get up with a uh, grab, man. You know, like complete night and day. Okay. Zane's gonna have to make some power plays to bring back this deficit. Yeah, I mean, if he could, if he, I mean, if he could just take that stock under maybe like the next ten percent, I think he should be fine. But because right now he's in, he, you know, he's struggling right now. All right, you're wild for that. Wow. You're wild for that. That was a. Uh... I've never actually seen that move loose. Usually I see Falcon just grab whatever, but that actually lost a flip kick. <clears throat> wow. Wow. He did the uh, reverse uppy. Wow. Covered the uh, offstage recovery. Wow. 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 Uh, pretty good stuff. What is this coaching going on? What is this? Yo, is coaching a lot? Yo, coaching banned? Yeah, we're going to ban MGW? <coughs> Yo, ban MGW? You can't be coaching. Yo, like do that. it. Do it free. Ban from the next <laughs> five Xenos. Ban till ultimate. Yeah, ban till ultimate. <laughs> Hashtag ban. Ban until ultimate. All right, we're going back to Bayo. He, he he figured that like his Captain Falcon got figured out. So. Yeah, it's like he got that he got that win. He got got a little bit of momentum. Got a got a got a W under his belt. Looking to break a shield or something like that. Yeah, that won't break a shield, but he definitely got free pressure on Zane's shield. Yeah, Zane didn't want to commit to that jump because that up smash went pretty far. He used that ninety percent off of guns. Sometimes, you know, I mean, you're getting shot. Ooh, only got one AB kill. You know, good SDI, though, bro. Ooh. That was a very weird exchange. You try yeah. to go for the heal slide. Very risky up B. He's going to get up beat himself. Ooh, no down air. Yeah, the nair, the nair didn't hit him in time. That was good DI from Bankai being able to fall out of that. Punish. Wow, that... That, uh, oh, that SDI was crazy by Bankai. SDI into Punish? Mm. And I don't think Zane should have died to that. I think Zane's shaking his head because he's just like, maybe he's holding away. Yeah, I think Zane wanted to, like, walk to the left or run to the left and just avoid it clearly because that was very uncharacteristic. Yeah. Trying to get the air dodge again. <laughs> Bankai has become wise to that. <laughs> yeah. Not again. Hit, hit him with that once. That was pretty insane. He's looking for some more back airs. I mean, I, yeah, right now, yeah, Bankai playing more reserve. Not he has to leave. Ooh. Catches the flip jump. Good read. You, you, caught him, you caught him two times coming yeah. down. Do it. Push it again. So he got the upper ready. Uh, yo, for glory taunts? Yeah, what the heck? My man's been playing Wi Fi? Oh, no, yeah, no. Bonka is definitely one of those Wi Fi <laughs> So, right now, um, Zane with the quick 19%. Trying to challenge. Oh, I, they're yeah. just kind of colliding a lot at this point. Yeah, and it looks like Bankai is benefiting more from these trades and exchanges. Because he's, an, he's anti-airing pretty much all of Zane's options. Ooh, good catch. Sends up, tries to send him out to the top. A trade? Yeah, that was good SDI by Bankai. Yeah, he uh, sdi the last hit of ABK downwards. What? The challenge. The, the landing from that yeah. pushes Bankai away. We're seeing a pretty even percent. I mean, Zane's on his final stock here. He needs to close this out to see a game five scenario. He's got advantage. Chilling. Forward air. Ooh, oh, that was incorrect. That might have been a forward smash. Yeah. That looked like a misinput. You know what? You know, let's see how Zane could take this stock. Ooh, double up. Bankai almost getting that kill. They're both playing extremely safe at yep. this point. That was a back air. They're both looking for their back air that's pretty much the same move. Yeah. I mean, they both got heals. Ooh, yo, that is scary. <laughs> yo, flip kick is such a crazy move, man. You gotta respect it. Yeah. Didn't air dodge. Well, oh, yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah, didn't air dodge. Just jumped right out of it. 
Back air to the air dodge. Mm -hmm. Game five. Zane is not out of the fight just yet. Yeah, Zane relieved you. Like, that was a really close set. And that back air barely hit him. Look like, like, like he hit uh, Bankai, like, right at the top. Like, right at the top of Bayo's hitbox. Let's watch it. Yeah, yeah, he barely yeah. hit Bankai. Nicked him. We saw the air dodge, so that was, like, the perfect opportunity. That's why he wasn't throwing it out earlier. He was afraid of, like, overextending his foot. Putting okay. out that little... Okay, are we going to... I was about to say, are we going to get a counter pick? Can you imagine? Game, Game 5, five. Bankai Game busts out, like, Bayo. No, no, my God. <laughs> Bankai bu busts out the Fox. Ooh. Um, right put that, now. Yeah, put that back in your pocket. Okay, right, we're going to Smashville. Game 5. Zane runs Tournament imme live. He immediately just runs in the middle, just try to get that stage control. What? Ooh. That was scary. Yeah. yeah. Zane? Yeah, that, that was a Platform assist? Okay. Oh, yeah, no. He, he's not going to get the double. Um, worst worst. I mean, that was a quick 53%. Yeah. Great start to the game. And Bankai not too far behind uh, 30, with 36. Catches the flip jump. And take it for another ride. You know, landing safely on the platform. And caught that spot dodge. Like you would have thought. Yeah, I mean, the, the Plasma Whip stays Ooh. out for a pretty long time. Wow, and, Bank start up. and Bankai anti-airing him with this up tilt. You know what's one thing that Zane really hasn't gone for yet this entire set is uh, Witch Time. Yeah. I might wonder if he's saving it for like the last thing. He yeah, might be holding it in his pocket. Oh, and he hit that. He hit his back. He hit the AP with his back air. That cover so, is so yeah, scary. Yeah, I mean, Every ledge get up. It was, it was safe. Okay. He waits for the just him to land get that, before going for that grab. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I was going to say, let's see how Zane gets off the ledge again. <laughs> Bankai was definitely charging the up smash also. Grab. Yeah. What? Whoa. Yeah. Um, suspect SDI, but I just don't think Bankai expected to be in that situation to get hit by the guns. Yeah. Like, I don't think Bankai DI'd at all. And, you know, that flip kick got him out. The invincibility on flip kick. Not dealing with that Bayo stuff. Ooh, forward smash? Yeah, strong punish. Not going to kill, but... No, good whiff punch by Bonka. Ooh, okay, yeah. Yeah, even though he re grabs the ledge, it's still really difficult to try to like hit Bayonetta on that platform. Yeah, and good and good non-air dodge by Zayn. That's what Bonka, Bonka was looking for. Get throw himself out there with that grab a little bit too far away for a punish to go from Zayn. Instead, Bonka's just gonna get the simple down throw up air. Yeah, Bayonetta not fast enough to punish that um punish the whiff grab from that range. We're gonna come down to the wire in this final stock. For both players. Losers going home with fifth place. Ooh, Winner who's like on the loser semis. Whoa, what? what did he mean? He that? got burrowed for like a frame. Yeah, good That's a punish. Yeah, yeah, good evasion by Zane. Chases him off the top, tries to get that up air. He was Ooh. throwing it out. Bankai was just mashing air dodge. Yeah, no triple jump from coming from Zane. Neutral air. Whoa! He got the biggest read from Yo, Zane. Pop off. He popped off with that O smash. He knew exactly what was gonna happen. Yo. Zane, the Yo. set winning play. Yo, coming out. Can we see that again? Put him in the tech chase situation. One more time. Put Bam. Him in the tech chase situation. Whoo. Put him in the tech chase situation, man. That was slick. That was hype. What? The New York crowd. Yeah, yeah. they got him. Not, not too much, you know. There's eventually there's a, there's a good point to be. You know, if you go too a little bit too over, then you're just you become a mess. <laughs> I'm not gonna say a but <laughs> but uh, right now uh, we have uh, VV and Odyssey, and this is a hard matchup, very hard matchup for Lucario. I mean, yeah, there's just a lot of like pressure that Lucario struggles with trying to like remove people off of him. Fox wants to just get in there. Yeah, like uh, Fox is ledge shenanigans. Just Fox hitting Lucario in general, making it hard for you to land. Having to reset to ledge, which is also a terrible place for Lucario. Especially with this up tilt, which are yeah. really good at just setting him up perfectly for a follow-up back air. Can easily defuse the high percents right off the bat. And wait, VV agreed to Town City? Yeah, I mean, why not? There's not a lot of stages in this matchup where you'd probably want to agree to. That's fair. Well, good setup. Yeah, you wouldn't want Battlefield against Fox, that's oh, yeah. fair. And with Ooh. that being said, with all with all that talk about this being a bad matchup, Vivi's just like, you know what though? I have aura. <laughs> I have aura. I have the power. Watch it. Catches yeah. the air dodge. Yeah, just waited for it up there. That was a 50 50 anyway. Couldn't mm -hmm. really do much about that. Maybe yeah, spawning back into the center. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, down air out of shield. I believe that's um Lucario's fastest air out of shield. Yeah. It's really good get off me move, which is what you're gonna be doing a lot against Fox. Yeah, I believe that is frame six. Not 100 percent sure. It is a quick move. Yeah. Throwing it out. Oh, you got <laughs> using <laughs> the reflector for its intended purpose is always yes. a sight to behold. Yeah, you can only use it for its intended purposes in this game. Yeah, nice landing jab. Just catching BB, just coming out of shield too early. Yeah, BB was looking for that side B. Gets Ooh. it the second time. Oh, and he, and he caught, he read that um, from Odyssey and couldn't get the follow up. Yeah, unfortunately, I think he's at too low percent, too low to the ground. I mean, he is a fast faller, yeah. and he died to that. Yeah, that was bad DI. Uh, it looked like VB jumped into it because I, 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 he probably didn't think that he would immediately just up air again. So, but I mean, if you watch any of Adi's gameplay, that's like what he wants to go for. Yeah. He will, if he's on a platform and you're above him, he will double jump up air. Yep. Yeah. So VB just caught unaware, and we might have a counter pick coming from VB. The Mewtwo. Char is it? He's doing it again. Oh, Yo, it's, it's time. It's no. time. It's time. It's, it's time. So for those that don't know, VB plays Pokemon. He just plays Pokemon. It doesn't matter what the character is. He can just play all the Pokemon. So he's a uh, Lucario main, Mewtwo secondary, but he does have a Charizard. Yeah. Um. I think at this point, I think Charizard is just a secondary. I feel like he. <laughs> yeah. No. He. he <laughs> Forget he, about that Lucario. <laughs> he busts him out. You know. Make an anti proud. Yeah, man. But I mean, right now. Um, Charizard yeah. not the greatest character. Uh, he struggles a lot with like dealing with pressure sometimes. But man, can he kill early. Is Yo, that, what? Was that, was that, is this is this combo still going? When does it stop? Okay, trying to land a rock smash. It stops when he sees the rock smash. <laughs> so I'm just gonna respect that. Yeah, you can break the rock. So. Yeah, even Stevens. Uh, what Charizard can thrive in this matchup is able to use the flamethrower off stage. If Fox is recovering from low, he's he's gonna get hit by it. Flare Blitz gonna be able to not catch it. Yeah, and um, he could have he could have done any other punish. Yeah, Oh Smash was a little bit too laggy. Maybe he thought that was gonna be more cooldown. Fly out of shield, a really good option. Unfortunately, he fell out of the up B. Yeah, and did not get the impeccable spin. That's another reason why you'll see Charizard in this matchup. A fly is really good for just getting Fox off of you. Yeah, any any unsafe button Adi throws at him, he's definitely just gonna up B out of shield. <gasps> that, that was, was another one. Very risky. Oh, and he read that roll. He kept he, he just checking his roll and kept doing it. Eventually, if you apply enough pressure to someone, like they'll go for something risky like that. Just go to revert to their defensive option. Yeah, but right now, I mean, good stuff with BB. You know, he's keeping this pretty solid. Even though this is an unfavorable matchup for Charizard. Oh, no. That footstool sealed the deal. Game number two ending in such a, like... A bleak moment yeah, for uh, BB. Yeah, it was a little unfortunate. Um, he couldn't actually do anything about it because he was in end lag from the Rock Smash. Um, he couldn't just up B immediately like he wanted to. I kind of feel like he should just go back to Lucario. I thought he was doing okay game number one, but yeah. he's sticking with Charizard. Yeah, I know he, I know he just doesn't like the matchup. Yeah, yeah, so that's fair. And, you know, Charizard didn't really give... It, it, it didn't really get his chance because he did get footstool near the end. Yeah. I mean, let's, I mean, let's see what, you know, uh, what V has to offer because maybe, you know... A couple mishaps, just like, you know, whatever. Let me run that back. Okay, mm -hmm. he obviously does not have faith in the Lucario. Oh, up tilt, up smash? That's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, down throw. Forces him to recover high. Knew he was going to fall down with that forward Ooh, air. Ooh, that could have killed him. Yeah, if that down smash connected, he'd be dead. <gasps> that back air is really disgusting. strong. That back air is disgusting. 71% that would kill. That back air is disgusting. Look at all that shit. Yo, okay. Yo, Wait, Vivi, shut up! Yo, Vivi's, yo, Vivi's insane. <laughs> he just did Fox Illusion twice. In a row. Well, yeah, I mean, he just actually did Rock, rock Smash and depleted his shield. If yeah. Odyssey shielded that. <laughs> My he man is just pushing the B. And he's just doing it. He's pushing B. And, you know, what are you going to tell him? He knows that Odyssey's trying to land on him with a button, so he's like, okay, well, I'm going to press my um my high priority buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Take it. So, I mean, smart stuff by V. Even though it might look like mashing, it's really like calculated stuff by V. Oh, yeah. Like Rock right, Smash? 17% right? easy. Does a lot of damage. That's not even the full brute strength of it. And see, and see, his his new his neutral area hit the rock smash first, so he didn't couldn't get the punish that he wanted. The thing is, like VV hasn't really been punished too much for using rock smash. You know, like he's been getting away with it. The only thing he's getting punished for is like what he does at a shield. Yeah. Like right there, he jumped at a shield, therefore up smash. <laughs> nice follow up. 
Okay, using Rock Smash to just yeah, try just, to just, escape. Just get back to the ground. Yeah, just go, just like force your way through it, you know? That's one thing Charizard can do, is just get back down to the ground as safe as possible. Take some damage, but at least you back to neutral. Yeah, it's about take, not taking the most the maximum punish that that would happen to. Now, Audi's starting to outspeed him a little bit by going for these Fox Illusions. He's got him on the edge. Yeah. This could be big. DI'd away. Good stuff from Audi. Go the back air. Flare Blitz. He's sneaking it. Yeah. Oh, that was yo, slick yo, from Audi, but he's still alive. Oh, no. Okay. The Sakurai. Again, sent directly upwards. And that fly, unfortunately, was trying to catch Audi with the fly. Yeah. Audi outspaced it last second, gone with the forward smash. He's going to go on with that 3 0 victory onto loser semis. Yeah, and I don't think he meant to do that. Um, I think he just wanted to get to ledge and he just misplaced yeah. it. Yeah. I can see that too. Well, yeah, but, you know, um, what is that? What, what place did Vivi just finish in? Fifth. You know, fifth place finished by Vivi. You know, still good stuff, man. Right, so you know, you can do whatever you want for a and, and if you win, if you win. You will get a copy of Smash Bros. Ultimate. They will personally buy it for you. Ooh. Yeah. Two, one, well, with that being said, go. um, we're gonna go into Town City. Diddy Rosa. Now, Utopian Ray, uh, fresh off the heels of a great win over Odyssey. Yeah, man. Moving on to Dill, see if he can break, you know, break this champion next, because Dill is actually the demon of Xeno right now. Oh yeah, right now, yeah, yeah. Dill's been on a tear. Um, this is the last arc of Xeno has been Dill's. Just Dill. At least it wasn't numbers, I'll just say that. Yeah, no, honestly, <laughs> no, I, I'm okay with it. <laughs> love you, love you, John. But, um... <laughs> Never forget that filler arc of John numbers. <laughs> oh, that, that was, was definitely that, that was, like, bro, that was a main arc. Dude, <laughs> like, no, you cannot. That, it wasn't in the manga. Um, definitely in the manga. <laughs> definitely. It was definitely. No. 100%. 100% canon. <laughs> um, can't be retconned. But... God dang it. But right now, uh, we have... Utopian Ray, you know, pretty, putting in a lot of work right now. But but Dill just, you know, taking Luma away from him. Okay, trying to get that forward air just to... That was, like, some very silly stuff that just transpired. Ray just ju ledge jumped into... Whoa. Yo! When, when, <laughs> when a ridiculous aerial beats another ridiculous aerial. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Any other character. Did you that's see him just stand there? And that forward air hit Luma. He's like, I don't care. Yo. Yo, he went Diddy Kong so is so good. Diddy. He's so good. When he, yo, and the thing is, like, you hit Diddy, and it's like you expect him to get punished really hard for it, and then the barrel hits you, and then he just recovers again. Yup. And now you got back, and you died. Back air in Diddy. I mean, Diddy's got a lot of strong options going for him. He, he does struggle a little bit off stage compared to other top tiers. No, definitely, definitely does. Yeah, but like, he still has ways to get back. Like he just did with that rocket barrel boost. Monkey flip. You gotta get those reads. Yeah, and, and Ray kind of du du ducked out the way when Dill was monkey flipping back to stage. He didn't have the position that he wanted to. Even if he gets slipped too, like Luma can still be out there and throw out some fisty cuffs. Oh yeah, ni oh yeah, nice boost grab. Yeah, that was definitely some online strats. Border from Luma, not enough to get the kill. Try to get the monkey flip. Oh, and the Nair didn't hit. Oh my God, that, he's not dead. He's. I'm shocked. Hey, how did he get he's back to stage? Dead. He's not dead. Dill is living the dream. I can only imagine that Ray's frustrated yeah, at this Yeah, bro, this point. has to be filler arc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be dream arc. There's, there's no way you should live that. But, I mean, man, Dill's just taking us to the bank. He's just taking all the percent he could get. Like, if Ray doesn't end this soon, then he could kill, confirm and kill him like, right now. Yeah, like, down tilt, the up smash will kill him. We'll kill him right now. He's in max rage. On Titan City, max oh, rage. Oh, he died. Good stuff. Back throw. Yeah. Get the kill. Yeah, I mean, but right now, Ray has to put in you know, a bunch of work, but Rose is one of those characters, like I always say, make you explode at any moment. I've seen people die to 0%. Oh, yeah. So, it, Dill's got to respect it. This is the time for him to put on the offensive when Luma's gone, though. See him throwing out some forward airs. Yeah, and right now, yeah, Ray just hang, was just hanging out behind the banana waiting for Luma to come back. Ooh, the big boy reads. Ray, he fully tried the up smash waiting yeah, for him to come down. He knew he was going to land on the ground, too. Ooh. That up air is scary. Dill's put in a bad spot. Are he down throw? And Luma pushed him off so he couldn't get any advantage there. Yeah, Luma almost killed him. Could have clipped his barrels if he did uh, recovery too early. He wants that down until after the banana throw. Ooh, waited. Hot the uh, shield option. Yeah, just waited for him to drop. That is insanely scary. 
Yeah, I mean, good. I mean, good evasion. Like Rosa's air dodges are kind of ridiculous. Trying to challenge with the downer. Dill just playing patient, waiting for the challenge. Eventually, oh, okay. he'll eventually get the kill. I mean, the town city's got the low ceilings, man. High percent. He'll eventually die to it, man. This is what's gonna happen. So we got Dill taking away game number numero uno. Yeah, man. From Ray. Yeah, I mean, good stuff by Ray. I mean, I mean, I thought Ray put up a yeah, fight. Yeah, I mean, good stuff by um, Dill. Counter pick? Don't don't go Mario. He, why is he hovering near Bowser Jr.? <laughs> no, I think he's just thinking. I was gonna say. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mario. Yeah. He d he has b been known in the past to go Mario against Diddy Kong. Yeah. Um. I know Dill. Um. He's a little iffy about against against playing against Mario. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, I know that much. But. Um. I mean, last time they played Mario. Mario uh, Diddy. Um. Dill kind of won. They're pretty handled. Yeah. Actually, no. Actually, no. I'm lying. I'm lying. It was kind of close, but. Regardless, Dill was the one that came out with the W in the end. But, you know, maybe Ray's got that power up that he needs, you know? There, there's something cooking in his blood. Yeah, you know, may yeah, maybe Ray, you know, studied the matchup with Mario a little bit more. So. I mean, because right now, you know, it's pretty much an even game. Another one of those matches where, like, if Mario gets in, he can just make it explode. But Diddy, being the character that he is, pretty much a sword character, is keeping Mario at bay. Yep. Okay, catching those monkey flips. And the other's exactly what he's got to do. Right there, he's had a grab opportunity. Mario loves to go for grabs at low percents. Gives him such big damage afterwards. Easily just do these ba easy bake oven combos with the up tilt, you know? Yeah. The Super Mario. Yeah, you know, the thing about this is, right, when um when Ray's landing on Diddy's shield with uh, unsafe aerials, especially when, when Dill has banana in hand, he doesn't get punished every single time. Like, he just needs to, you know... Watch out for how he's facing these, uh, you know, buttons against Diddy. Ooh, Nothing. get them up airs. I like it. He had enough rage for those to connect. Like nice thirty percent combo. See if he can do it again. I mean, yeah, Mario got a lot of that grab. That fireball was flying. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Right now, just Ray's trying to try to find. Oh wow. That was. Hmm. <laughs> that, that yeah, that, that, that was lingered. definitely not supposed to be a forward tilt. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah, try to bait him. Mm -hmm. He's pushing the banana peel forward. <laughs> Yo, Ray is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ray. No, he had it! Ray is funny. He was just I mean, pushing I mean, him I mean, That's just really smart, but it still looks funny to look at. Yeah, yeah, he's like, just... When you have it in your favor, you're just pushing, like, a piece of trash towards your opponent. Yeah. With your feet. While holding shields, just like, yeah. Yeah. Like, what are you gonna do? Ooh, that dash attack. Mini dash attack. Yeah, long-lasting. Oh yeah, trying to push him off stage with that flood. Yeah, if, if a Diddy Kong commits to a monkey flip and gets hit by flood off stage, they could die. Now, here, now here's the thing about this matchup. In last hit situations, I feel like Mario has the advantage. Because because right now, like, Dill is just struggling to get in with like any type of button. And Mario's one of those characters with those anti-air buttons, anti anti whiff buttons, like, you know, up smash, forward smash. You know, you miss space something, you'll just die. Yup. And he's trying to get to that percent where they'll he'll actually die. Okay, I knew he was gonna go for it, yeah. but like that's, I knew it wasn't gonna work. Yeah, it's not true at this percent whatsoever. Yeah. I feel like everyone that doesn't main Mario does that. Yeah. There's no, it's the main combo you see, but yeah, yeah. You know, Dill taking it with that down tilt forward there. Yeah, ooh, got the slip off. Ooh, trying to catch that air dodge with the forward air. Ooh, dash that unsafe, but didn't get punished for it, so. Okay, well, Utopian Ray has not taken too much damage yet. Can easily close the stock out and move on to the second one. Yeah, and I, and I really do like that um, air dodge approach by Ray, because you know he's putting himself in position with Mario that has good that has good aerial drift and just closing a little bit of space. I mean, even though Dill died to that, I think it was almost like an acceptable trade because he just kept tacking on damage after damage against him. Yeah, I mean, like yeah, he was just he was trading a lot. In that and now it's like working wonders for him because now he's got Mario at 104. Okay. One down tilt away from possibly dying. Yeah, that, that won't work at zero. You trying to mix up the DI with the back throw? Throwing the banana up. Trying to bait Diddy to do something. No, That's gonna, yet. yep. Oh wow, up the DI. Smash, Ooh. that was, that was, a, that was sus. Yeah, cause think about Diddy Kong, uh, when, he's, when he's not in rage, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of hard for him to get some of those kill conversions to solid. Cause even though he Mario was at a higher percent, it still doesn't have like a lot of um, base knockback like that. We need we need rage somewhat to kill. So 
What? Okay. He does have a bayonet. Oh, oh wait, no, 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 no. Dill's wait. Tell him to wait. Sip, get, take a sip of water. Take a sip of water. Hold up. Oh, he's. No, Ray, Ray doesn't Ray, care, Ray's dog. dog. Yo, raise it. Raise him the zone. Okay, so this is uh, we got we're going through the cycle of characters against against Diddy, man. Now, now this is actually something I would expect out of Ray, because Ray, um, for the longest time was oh, uh, practicing like Cloud, Bayo. I don't know if you've seen him, his Cloud or his Bayo. Yeah, yeah. He, was, there, there's definitely a section where he dropped Rosa for a couple weeks. Yeah, he just just wanted to practice, you know, for ultimate, you know, just for himself. So like, you know, this this pick isn't too far fetched. Oh yeah, wait for that. Oh, nice. oh that's forward time. Oh, hit him into the peel. Now, what's great about Bayonetta on this stage, and Lilac Cruise in particular, is that if, it, if the Lilac Cruise tilts downwards while she can, like, shoot those guns, you can't dodge it by ducking anymore. Yeah. So it forces you to retreat to a platform, which Dill just did. Yeah, and another thing about the stage, like, all her all her tilts go, like, you know, her up tilt goes to the platform. The platforms are a perfect high score to just get any type of follow-up she wants. Mm. A, lot of, a lot of landing platforms that aren't too high up in the air. He wanted that down smash so, bad. so badly. So bad. <laughs> yeah, it was scary. Like, Ray is uh, playing a little predictable, just a little bit. Yeah, I just think he's just trying to figure something out. Because, I mean, this is winner's finals. I'm not saying this is like a throwaway set. No. But this is something that Mika may be trying to gain da data from if you think he's going to get back into, you know, brands. Exactly. Like, you think of this as the first set of three. Yeah. Because you know you're going to win loser's finals. Yeah. Oh, uh, couldn't get. Oh, couldn't get the turnaround to grab. And but with that being said, you know, Ray's not out of it by any by any stretch of the imagination. You know, Bayo is one of those characters. Ray is one of those players that just you know, he's used to being down. You know, he could be down and bring it back. Yeah. Trying to trigger the witch time off that banana peel. Banana wasn't close enough. Yeah. A good patience that time around. You saw him. Dill was ready for any sort of like ledge option from Ray. Jab off of it. Yeah. Rapid jab. Okay, Ray is just struggling to get back to stage, but as I say that, finally goes for the witch twist. Wow, and he tried to hit him with the down air, try to kill him. Okay, Dill getting a little risky, but I mean, Ray unfortunately was playing a little bit too long. Down I mean, there. to be honest, that wasn't too risky because he counted his jumps. He yeah. knew how, like, Dill knew how many jumps he had left. He knew like he only had one more jump, so he went for it. Yeah, he knew right there he had only had one more jump. He so. forced the air dodge, allowed him to get that gimp, and Dill's going to move on to grand finals. Yeah, I mean, you know, good showing by Dill, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on to this next match. Loser semis between Odyssey and Zane. Oh, and this is the run back because uh, uh, before Adi beat him 3-0 with the Fox, Fox, Cloud. Yeah, so this is definitely, like, his time to, like, So um, definitely, you know, you know, unfortunate stuff. But let's see if Zane can bring it back. You know, you know, sometimes in this game stuff like that happens. Yeah. So. Go Thank right. you, Devin, for the clapping. By yeah, the way. and he already tacked. And that. you know, he already tacked on 76 percent. He only took 26 percent. So you know, he, he, can, he can bring it back. Look at that, nice back here. You're yeah, trying to take that sock pretty quick. Mm. Yeah, but like, oh, my, oh, that down tilt. I always say this things about um Fox's tilts. Fox's tilts could set, pretty much set up for kills, follow-ups, no matter which one you throw out, whether it be tech chase follow-ups. It's just, Fox is just crazy, man. Yeah, Fox has a lot of just pressure. He just throw out his opponent, you know? You're holding that shield? I'm gonna throw some back airs against you. Drags him down. I thought he was gonna get that tech read. He went to like an up smash, but it wouldn't have killed. Actually, he might have. You know, Fox had 100. That almost killed. 20 rage. Good tech. Still living another great oh, wow. tech. Audi living the dream. Oh, you died now. Yeah, he. There was no way because he regrabbed the ledge, so he wouldn't get invincibility, which is why he held down to go through the ledge. Yeah, try hoping to, to just try to hit Zane. Yeah, at least clip him. Yeah. But I mean, good stuff by Zane. You know, he got all pretty much all those tech follow-ups. So you know, Zane at 89%. You know, bought it back somewhat from that, you know, unfortunate SD earlier. Saw him holding that shield. Did not want to commit to that jump that Odyssey was trying to fish for. Yeah, and right now, uh, Odyssey is, you know, just trying to find find a way to get down. And he just he just comes down with down here and grabs him. Yeah, I mean, it works. 
Ooh, yeah, Bayo's okay. So Bayo's ledge roll is actually pretty bad. Hmm. That's the one like terrible thing about this character. It's reactable. Her ledge roll is reactable, and you get like really easy punishes off it. That's why a lot of Bayo's usually just like ABK or at least stand or get up or jump from ledge. They almost never go for it unless they're really trying to hard mix up their opponent. Which I think is what Zane was trying to do. Sometimes when uh, something that Fox can do, especially, is put enough pressure on their opponent to just like. Go for like you think you can't push certain buttons, so then you try the buttons that are not safe, like the ledge roll. Yeah, just tried like the hard mix them up and didn't. I mean, didn't work out for him. So, game one going to Odyssey. All right, here we go. Game number two, though. Let's see if Zane can try to bring this back. Immediately tries to start that off with an up smash. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to just double up here and probably got stuck in his movement. That, that was, was on purpose. Slick. That's really like unsafe to go for it too, because there's a chance that like Zane could potentially go for a like, witch time. But. Yeah. Yeah, in that situation though, um, Light does this also. Light, I, this is the first. I asked Light the first person I seen do this. So what happens is when sometimes when you pu put opponents in situations, right, and you know they're just gonna mash, you just up smash them, you know, just to check their mash. And another SD by Zane. Yeah, kind of shocking. I mean, something's not working out for Zane. But as I say that, which twist jab forward air? Yo, I was say, pretty uncharacteristic. And that, that's like. And he just took the lead. Yeah, that's the Zane you know I'm, I'm used to seeing. Yeah. Okay. Wait, time. Because of which time pushed him back a little bit, didn't allow uh, Odyssey to be able to land that grab. Yeah, and um, also, Bale also has like invulnerability frames, so it's like you can't really grab her for like what, like two frames? Or something, right? it, it, it's something. Oh, bat within gonna be able to allow him to get the witch twist out of there. Yeah, up to oh that up to hitbox. Man. Yeah, it goes pretty far. Respect those pistols. Yeah, and good empty land, empty land and grab by Zane. Wow. Got quick 30% off of that. And he keeps rolling onto to ledge like that, man. I don't know about that. Ooh, this could be big. Up smash, yep, that is died. game. Zane, after SDing yet again, brings it back game number two, yeah, taking man. the first game off of Audi since winners. Yeah, Zane locked in, man. Like, I just think after SD, he was just over it, man. He's just like, you know what, I'm done. Now, Audi could potentially switch back to Cloud after this. I was talking to Audi later on about why he keeps going to Cloud randomly. Mm -hmm. And he says it's because he wants to pick him up as a secondary, so he's throwing him out in matchups that he doesn't feel as comfortable with okay. Fox. But right now, I think he wants to keep his Fox warmed up when he fights off against uh, Utopian Ray in the next set, if he wins. Yeah, and you know, I, I can see why um, he could see this as a matchup that he might be too, not, too uncomfortable in. Because like, just like you saw, Bayo could just make Fox explode sometimes. Yeah. And he can make Fox afraid of pressing buttons, and that's what Fox loves to do is press a lot of buttons. They, they, like, if you can't, if, if you make them not be able to do what they want to do, then you're at the advantage, you know? Yeah. There you go, catches him with the forward air. That was the longest slide. Like, my man Fox was just, like, moonwalking out there. Yeah, and then with that, and then he got hit with the slide, and then he just slid himself, like, slid himself like. Mm -hmm. Slip and slide. That Ooh. Ooh, smash. Yo, that, yo, that slide off ABK is just. Right, good tech from Zane escaping any sort of uh, follow up from uh, Adi. Once the back air on the Fox Illusion, gonna go for the Witch Twist as shield. And then do the auto cancel down here, so there's definitely a lot of energy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, good punish by uh, Odyssey, because that's not safe on shield, really. And uh, Zane didn't even throw out the kick afterwards, so. Oh, uh, we got that tilt lock. That wasn't true. No. <laughs> you know, Zane was definitely just spamming. Which was to try to get escape that scenario. There, he's off stage with no jumps. Oh, Zane oh, yeah. mistimed the back air. Yeah, mistimed the back air. They had to like recover safe, so he wouldn't have enough jumps to get back. So. Good punish from Adi. Punishing the wish twist. Oh, couldn't get the turnaround for the grab. So he's gonna go for the double ABK. Sends him up to the top, 135 percent. Neutral out of shield. Good stuff. Yeah, nice reaction. Like, calling that jump out with him there. Like, jump at me again. Now Zane's still in this. He got 72%. I mean, it's starting to grow a little larger, but... Yeah, but, like, but we saw in game two, like, Zane just took that stock at high percent. Yeah. He didn't even care. I mean, that's the power of Witch Time. Yeah, that, yeah. I've just been doing that a lot, but, like, just, like, empty landing because the people are in shield waiting for the back air. And he needs to stop rolling a ledge like that. I feel that's the second time that Zane's actually done a ledge roll to, at the end of the game. Yeah, but even in the middle of the game, he's been getting a punished a lot off of ledge roll. Mm -hmm. I think every single time he ledge roll, he got punished. I don't think it worked once. 
It might just be like a crutch for him where like he's used to pushing R on the ledge with other characters and he feels a little bit safer. I don't know. Or I don't know, man. Usually I don't see Zane roll a lot because mm. I know he specifically told me that move is horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm wondering like if it's because like he's finding he's getting so pressured that he's reverting back to old bad habits, you know? That's maybe. something that could happen. Or maybe he's just going for too many mix-ups in his head. Yeah. <laughs> he's thinking too hard and he's yeah. just like, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I mean, but right now, I mean, we have run, run a try fight, run a dream one. And I, and I can see this working out for Zayn. Yeah. I mean, you can't escape that. These follow-ups from Adi, my god. That, and that down air follow-up, man. So, Adi found his steam. He's just, uh, just tagging on Ooh. hit after hit against Zayn. Then that tech chase. Got the trump afterwards, too. Just runs up, raw up smash. Yeah, it caught his roll away. Again? Yeah, and he just, he just called out his landing. And that's why, like... Against characters like Fox and Greninja, or like characters that just like put you in the air a lot. Sometimes it's, it's just there. He wants to save them. Yeah, I think he saved them. Yeah, it, it definitely. Well, I mean, you save him to kill him. He I does. guess he's gonna live though. Oh, he didn't charge him. Um, it's just wise to reset the lead sometimes though. Uh, what? Again? Okay. Yeah, it's that person lives. <laughs> yeah, Audi was definitely kept lighting down with neutral air. If at first it doesn't succeed, try, try again, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. I thought he was going to get that tech, the tech mm -hmm. roll. Oh, I felt it in my bones. Okay. Yeah, Odd. he's yeah, that's, he's just checking his mash down. Like, he's mashing Nair downwards, and Adi, Adi already knows that. Up air. Yeah, tip her up air, man. Adi just buying some time in the air with a reflector. Yo, you're crazy for that. Yeah, like, that, that, honestly, that, against Bayo, like... <laughs> that's how you die. <laughs> Yada just trying to buy time. See, again, he did it again, and he put himself in a really bad spot oh. down air. Oh, that was untackable, too. Yeah, hit an untackable part of the stage. Oh, yeah. Now he's out of jumps. Now, now it's just rinse and repeat. And that is game. Yeah, man. And it's like, all because Adi he, got ahead of himself. He went for that forward air twice. And it's like, after the first time, I thought to myself, okay. No, he went for it first. Okay, I understand. Go for that read, mm -hmm. right? He went for it again and just put himself in this long, just rinse and repeat option. And there was no reason for him to actually go for that because he was at pretty okay percent against yeah. Bayo. Like, he wasn't winning, but it wasn't that big of a deficit. So he risked it all, and now he's going to game five. At least he's playing on his home turf. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. I mean, sometimes you just want to end it, so... Let's move on to the next game. Game number five. Zane might get this run back against Adi, man. And you know what? I'm I'm pretty surprised that we haven't seen the cloud. Because it's cloud. He actually 2 owned him with this cloud. Yeah. So like, it was I'm actually shocked about that too, because yeah, he was not even like it wasn't even a match. Yeah, cloud, the cloud was looking pretty good. So maybe he's just, you know, feeling his box right now. His box has been gaining a lot of steam. Mm -hmm. And like you know, with that being said, Yoga has 63% on Zane. 77. And it can't even be a thing of like wanting to keep your fox warmed up for the next set because I feel like Cloud would be really good against Rosalina, you know? Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Man, he yeah, is. Uh, he's cooking. Yeah, he's cooking right now, man. But you know, Adi's gotten the first shock every single game, so who knows what can happen? Yeah. Especially if Odyssey goes running off stage, like he almost yeah. did just then. Like Zane wants him to. I feel like that's why Zane's kind of playing the ledge a little bit more. Yeah, I think he's, he's trying like, to bait him. Yeah, he's like, come on, just run off, and you know you want to run off. And there's just like the Fox McCloud inside of Adi that's just like, I'm gonna go for it. Hey! <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Hold that for you. Okay, Adi's back center I mean, stage. Already lapped him in percent. Okay, I guess he's, he's expecting a Fox illusion. That's why he went for that witch time. Yeah, and I guess um, Odyssey's just reading that tech in place. That could have. Mm. Okay. Witch twist. Ooh. Trying to get that down air. Again, reset. That could be an up air. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Zane bringing it back. Bro, he's looking around the world. <laughs> what? He's like, here's the stage. Here's the sky. Here's the stage again. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Okay. Zane almost okay. stole this from Adi. Wait, what oh. is going on? Yeah, look, that's like I said, man. Zane should not be counted out, man. He's another one who could gain a lot of... Man, uh, I mean, let's look at this conversion really quick. Yeah. Up salt, up air. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's true. 
That was Saul, actually true. That's, Saul, that's actually completely true. Saul yeah. Zane just like. Are you like? Are you kidding me? Jump into this next game. Uh, so Ray's the one that actually sent Adi to losers, and this could be a potential for if Adi loses game number one to potentially switch back to his cloud that he did previously in the tournament because that's a really good matchup in this case. Yeah, man. It's, you know, it's the battle of like water versus New York water. Like, you know, which kind of water is gonna win? You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, I feel it. We don't care the, uh, about tequila or the vegetables. Yeah, we don't we don't care about vegetables out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is this is Ray's match to win because we don't care about veggies. Yeah. Ooh, and okay, I like I really like that follow up by um by Odyssey. Put him in this he's just putting him in tech chase situations. And with the young man reaction time. Like, yeah. Unfair, really. Yeah, no, crazy. Okay, the reason he stalled there is because he wanted to wait for to get control of Luma. But Adi is already going. Connects that up smash. Bring it on the next game. Yeah, man. Um, he's just, he, like I said, he just likes putting these players in these situations where they have to guess. It. Ooh, not safe on shield. Adi's going to get that free damage. 19. Yeah, stood him up and down tilted him off stage. Even on stage, getting hit by Rosa down tilt is not fun. No, not at all. I mean, down tilt is just a really good move for Rosa. Puts, it always puts the opponent in a bad position. You're going to be able to do it. Now, the thing in this matchup that, like, Adi has to respect is whenever he gets caught in the jab from Luma, he easily gets you stuck in him. Yeah. Like, you kind of have to take the hits of um, Luma. You just try to SDI through Rosa sometimes. Um, that you know, actually killed yeah, that means, yeah, no jab, no jab. Jab follow-ups, definitely. Very, Luma? very tough. Uh, Luma's strong. She goes to the gym. And we got the up airs on Luma. Yeah, Rosa yeah. coming in to protect her child. Yeah, she's like, don't, 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 don't do that, man. Star disappear. Yeah, please. I, I made a wish on that star. <gasps> oh my it's god. Yo, that was almost as a back air from Rosa. If he carried him off, I would have shut stream off myself. <laughs> I just wanted to hit, like, <laughs> stop stream on OBS. Yeah, Odyssey is... Oh, I thought he was going to land on the platform. That was, a good, <laughs> that was a good back air from Adi because he recognized that he was going to have to land on that platform. So and he was like... Odyssey going for the up smash. A really hard read. Now he has no more jumps. Ooh, try to go for that second up smash. Was hoping he was going to land in the same spot. Ray's bringing it back. Yeah, and Ray landing safely on the other side of the stage. Ooh, Fox Illusion? Forward tilt? I mean, it didn't get rid of Luma, so he didn't really get too much off of that. Back oh, up. Oh. That was a free punish for Adi, for away. Ray. And Ray rolled away because he was scared, man. Yeah. Okay, uh, Barry give himself some breathing space to get back onto the stage. And he just comes down with a nair, a completely safe space nair. That... Did you see how small that shield was? Hey, man, honestly, that was a punish. That was an up smash punish. Ray could have definitely had that set. Mm -hmm. I mean, had that game. Didn't want to commit. He's not brave enough. Give him some more tequila. <laughs> no, don't. Yo, Devin, Devin's going to shut down the tournament. <laughs> Yo, T.O. Devin's not going to be very happy. I mean, Devin is a T.O., so. Got the Ooh, up throw. empty hand. Everything land up throw. What's that up there? So bad. Ray's just trying to buy time until Luma comes back. But that forward air coming back in. That was crazy. Yeah, I mean, it was a good option to go for because launch start, launch start, like, Rose is just completely vulnerable during that animation. Yeah, and the, and the angle that Ray was at, like, it would have been very hard for him to cover anyway. So... Odyssey just putting some insurance on, or insurance on top of that. Yeah. Did you just take this forward air? Footstool into the blast zone. Like and you can't do anything. Like you're dead. Stop it. Game number two. Stick it with the Fox. Stick it with the Rosa. Now, we did see Rosa go for some counter picks against Diddy in his previous set. But I don't think he's going to try to do that. Even if he goes down to 2 0 in this set. I think, yeah. he, he feels pretty confident as Rosa for against yeah, Fox. Yeah, yeah, I think Ray's sticking stick with the, the Rosa mm -hmm. in this matchup. This is the jab I was talking about. Just get him stuck. Add on some big damage. Yeah, you know, Odyssey just avoiding all the anti air options. That... Ooh, okay, good deal. Soft upper into hard upper. Oh, and the back air missing. Yeah, I feel like Adi got some air time off that forward air to avoid it. Yo, air dodge. Tough. Back air. And foxes want that up tilt, dog. They get so many combos off of it. And the way Odyssey is being so ambiguous with his back air placements is like very disconcerting. And he's no reaction. 
I thought he was going to up smash. Empty short hop. The second Luma spawns, the second Luma dies. And Ray flickering his shield right there. You know, seeing that Odyssey double jumping in front of his shield. Ooh, okay. And Foxes want you to hold shield. Okay. Ooh, what's a four tilt? Four tilts? Okay. Yeah, boost grab. Yeah, boost grab um, the space so it knocks Fox off stage instead. At least we're laying back down onto the ground. Audi finds his dash stack on that platform. Yeah. Very risky forward smash. Yeah, Rosa down there, man. That, that'll that'll make you explode off the side of the stage like nothing. That's the thing about Fox's forward smash. He literally just puts his whole being into that, including his hurt box. Yo. <laughs> he wants it so bad. Yo, Ray was out of that situation completely. He's like, you know what? This, that smash, smash will platform mm. is live. And right there, Audi was trying to drill down that shield so that up smash could land. He Does doesn't matter. Yeah, Ray's shaking his head. Looked like he just tried to pivot and grab him and just did it too slow, flubbed it a little bit. Oh, and he's, he, he's missed like two of these fast boost grabs. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah Ray is kind of just spamming rolls at this point. Yeah, and I, and I think I, the reason he's doing that, I think that uh, Ray is just caught on to Odyssey's strategy about getting rid of Luma. Because mm. he knows Odyssey likes to get rid of Luma with side B. And he's just trying to roll out the waist, you know, try to throw some buttons out to stuff these, you know, options out. And just to keep Luma safe. Yeah, just keep Luma safe, man. Because, like, Luma is her lifeline. Luma is her neutral. <laughs> really. Luma's everything to her, man. Yeah, pretty much. Oh! <gasps> oh! That could have been big. That looks slick. I've never seen it. The, the slick little uh, neutral air from Luma, sending Fox into an awkward angle off stage. Oh, and that stall by Odyssey was insane. Yeah. Again, Audi's been doing really well at just like stalling off stage with Shine. Yeah. Oh yeah, calling that double jump out with a up smash. Another, Another one. Up smash. Take a second. Yeah, man, because you know Odyssey's been landing in front of people, just empty landing in front of them constantly. That's because people are in fear, and Ray's like, you know what? I have no fear. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's I the do. thing. That's the power. Of the tequila coming in. No, I think, honestly, though, I think it's just the power of Ray at this point, man. Like, he's just not afraid. Like, he's just like, I know you're going to land. You have nothing else to do. You don't have a disjoint. Get up smashed. A brave <laughs> Ray is not what you want to fight against yeah, as a fox man. Yeah, because sometimes Ray's, Ray is a little reserved in his gameplay, but right now, no reservations coming up. He's so. just letting it rip. Yeah, no, he really is. <laughs> oh, he's going to send him into Luma. I thought maybe he could have, like, do that a little bit more, but he didn't want to risk it. Yeah. But that combo, like jab combo, was a quick 24%. Yeah, and that, man, and Ray's boost grabs are hilarious. <laughs> I just, I think that's another demoralizing thing to get hit by. Like Rosa boost grab, like you just can't yeah. hit the dash tech and the grab, like, excuse me. I mean, that's a classic right there. You saw Audi connect that grab. It's very unsafe to go for a throw against Rosa while Luma's out there if you're just gonna, like, throw exactly where Luma can punish you after, you know? Like on the cooldown on the throw. <laughs> he rolled he rolled away and rolled back into it. Yep. You cannot escape Luma. Nope. This is where Rosa's strength lies, man. We got that puppeteer going. Yeah, and this I think and Ray's like learning like Odyssey's tendencies. Like he's not afraid of these empty line approaches anymore. Well like he's like moving fast won't save you today, man. The spacing <laughs> on that Firefox, by the way. But yeah. does not matter. Drag him down. Yeah, drag him. He doesn't care, man. He does not care. I've never seen Ray do a dash dance before. He just did one. The yeah, actual. Sure. Yeah, he was just moving back and forth. Hey, man, we're moving on. With a Rosa. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that was that was incorrect. Why would you? Oh yeah, that up smash was ill and ill advised. Mm. Up smash does have a little bit of cooldown on it. it. Allows Rosa to be able to get the punish. Audi doing another empty hop this time around, just going for Wow! He chased wow. him! <laughs> that chase was <laughs> insane! Yo. Oh my god. That was unexpected. Oh. Out of jumps. Oh, that clicked! Doesn't matter. Good to full charge up smash, adds on a ton of damage. Again, forward throw. Again, a forward throw is just not safe while Luma's in play. Yeah, he's gonna have to, like, throw him and just move, just keep moving. You ought to go for the double jump to just try to escape any approach Ray wants to go for. That looked like Ray was trying to do something, but Luma had other ideas. Oh, yeah, no. Simple up throw. Too high a percent for the up there to connect. Oh, did they just go for a Swore Smash? Off stage, down yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, down air. Down air approach. Covers, that 
down air cover is like a lot of options. But not, right now, this now this is time. It's time for Odyssey to play the game again. Yeah, Ray's in a bad spot. He doesn't have Luma, is off stage, disadvantage. Yeah. Odyssey's feeling himself. Up oh. air did not expect it. Yeah, Odyssey went for down smash. That's why he just exploded off the top like that. And you know Odyssey's beating himself up over that. Yeah, if he just would have held shield. Because yeah, he knows it. Because the thing about that is like, you want to punish Roja's um, recovery. Because you know that you can punish it. Yeah. But the thing is, though, Rosa could also mix up because that up air goes so far up. And Ray is no stranger to throwing out that up air on the ledge without Luma because he wants to try to stall as much time as possible. If he connects the up air, even if it doesn't kill it, he buys him time to get back to the stage safe and sound. So, yeah. Just a uh, common mistake coming from Adi. And now Ray is one game away from moving on to the grand finals. This could be a potential for Ray to not get just one set, but two set wins against Odyssey. Yeah, man. Here we get a pivot grab. Okay, air yes, dodge. Waiting, waiting out that air dodge. Ray's definitely got some momentum going into this next game. Yeah, and I think I think he I think he just caught on to something. I think he just caught on to Odyssey's landing habits because what Odyssey was doing to a lot of people throughout this bracket, he was just catching just catching people sleeping on like his short hop and double jump mix-ups. Oh, and a good tag from Adi. Getting back to the stage safe and sound. Another thing you gotta think about is that like maybe Adi's mentality is not in the best spot right now. After getting sent to losers by him and had the lead and then just lost it. Yeah, man, like this is a big turnaround, because I have to say, you know, after game one, it looked like Odyssey was in firm control of this set. Mm -hmm. That's like the complete opposite. Yeah, Ray just just controlling the pace of this whole set. Tries to get that grab from behind. This could be Adi's second win. Opposite, just go for Luma instead. That's Ooh. good. I like that. Because it didn't matter because Ray killed himself. Yeah, um, yeah, weird stuff. Uh, there's a certain parts of Smashville that it's like A, hard to ride the wall and B. It's town the City. It's, yeah, Town City. It's, it's the same side that has like that weird untackable spot on it. Yeah. So. Uh, it's the thing that Battlefield has. Yeah, you're right. But here we go. Last stock for Odyssey potentially. Yeah, grab and put him on stage, and that forward, see, think that's about, a good time to go for forward air, well, forward yeah, throw. Yeah, forward throw, um, if you hit both Rose and Luma, will send, we'll put Luma in the knockback. That up air, if he was at just like 10 more percent. Yeah, I feel like, I know Ray wants to stall, but I feel like he should get off that platform. Yeah, <laughs> now he's out of jumps off stage, gets what? back. Luma's back. 3, 2, 1, Luma. Yeah, Luma's back. Ooh. Audi's chasing after him on the platform again, luma -less. Yeah, and Ray's, and Ray's really not falling for some of these, like, you know, baits that he's throwing out. He's baits and he's faints. And Adi, the thing is, Ray had so much momentum, and then the one SD, I feel like it's all gone away. And Adi's going to take that to the bank, man. Like yeah, and, his, and, his nair, and man, his nair placement, man. Air dodge? No! Ooh, almost got that kill. Oh, my God. Could you imagine if that actually killed him? I oh, saw no. the sparks. Um, Great DI from Adi. I missed that grab. Ray's coming back. Woo! Try to get that back air follow up. Naughty wants yeah. his back air so bad. <laughs> Yo, and Ray just out. He just ran to the other side. Yeah. He's like, I am done. <laughs> I am not partaking in these shenanigans any longer. Has him up above again. Naughty has to get back down to the ground as safe as possible. Too high a percent for that up smash to connect. Back air's gonna get rid of Luma. Oh, and he tried to pivot grab him and he got back air instead. Okay, this time Naughty holding shield, recognizing that up air is an option. Trying to buy time, waiting for Luma to come back. That could have been an up air. Oh, forward smash, mistimed it. Luma's back. Luma's back, and he, and he, oh, he, he dashed what? into his front. What? And then up, just somersault, somersault, up smash, man. He bided, it. You know that was crazy because he, he was he was biding his time just to get Luma back, just to run into an up smash. Yeah. Just, all, just, all just the to do time it. without getting hit. Just I think I think what he was looking for was like a spot dodge or a roll or a defensive option. He mm -hmm. was hoping that he wouldn't get aggressive right there, because Audi was definitely th or Ray was thinking about potentially like an up smash. You saw him dashing out. Yeah, because like because he dashed in power shield that up smash. Yeah, um, Odyssey's dead. <laughs> Final game. One of these guys is going home with a third place finish. The other one's gonna try to fight against the tyrant of Dill in grand finals. I mean, explosive set by these two guys. Yeah, and yeah, like just like I said, Ray's catching on to these empty hop follow-ups. Ooh, trying to get that back air. Again, catches the up smash. He's out of jumps. Just comes down flying with the drill. Yeah, and got a quick 41% for it also. 
Oh, that shield's looking mad. That shield yeah. damage, man. We got two people j <laughs> rapid jabbing you. Like yeah. it's gonna get destroyed a bit. Yeah, and Odyssey calling out that spot dodge by Ray. Oh, he oh, missed time oh, no, the forward smash? Yeah, he, no, yeah, he didn't get uh, Luma. That forward smash, he missed it. Yeah, smash full platform saving Luma. Gonna buy some time with that grab, waiting for Luma to come back home to Mother. Yeah, and Ray was just waiting for me. He knew he was gonna come down with the button. Oh, missed space that grab. He knew he was gonna go for the Fox Illusion. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Just play defensive. Didn't want to come to the back. Okay, we see. We keep seeing that forward smash from Audi because he recognizes that Ray's gonna go for the new ledge get up every single time, but he's mistiming it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to catch sometimes. Dash shield's looking super low. He's got a challenge. Yeah, and he <laughs> only reason he got crossed up is because the smash hole platform was moving. Yeah. Yo, the Sakurai special. Yep. The Sakurai special, man. Just send him up vertically, completely. Yeah. Side beat up, man. Time to shine. Yeah, down throw mix up. Yeah, Challenges it. it only took it to percent. Yeah, Singular. Yeah, it, it took one percent, and you know I was kind of waiting until Ray punished that option because he's been letting Odyssey just come down on down air on his shield consistently. Good long-lasting hitbox goes through the air dodge. Final stock for both players. Yeah, and, and Odyssey, man, I think right now his main focus is to just to try to get Luma away. That's why he, he keeps going for the Fox Illusion. Yeah, he just wants to get Luma away. He wants Luma to die because he doesn't want to deal with all this nonsense anymore. Here we go. go. A just, lot of safe aerials. I like that he just kicked him. Nice. Yeah, and Luma's done. Died to HP damage. Now we got Ray again chilling off stage. And, yeah. Smashville platform coming in the nick of time yeah. to save Ray from that trump. And good stage awareness by Ray. He, all that time, just to not get hit by Fox, and he got, and he got Luma back. He almost got the up air kill, too. Okay, again, Fox Illusion trying to get rid of the Luma. But, again, you see Ray adapting to it. Jab, jab, Ooh. jab. Yeah, just waiting, because he knows, he knows what Odyssey wants to do at this point. He caught and it. He, and he did a down air, not the up air, because that was the DI for the up air. Oh, and you got hit with the down air. Good mix up by Ray at the last dock. Ray playing out of his mind. He sent him completely upwards, too. Oh, my God. Rich fighting off against Utopian Rays, Rosalina, and Luma. And we're actually going to play the set now. Oh, my God. I forgot we were, I forgot we were at a tournament. For yeah, I thought we were a commercial for a bit. Yeah. No, that, yeah. Three, two, Town and city. One, yeah. I mean, let's see if uh, how Ray does now. Um, As you remember before, Ray did play this matchup, uh, switched off of Rosa, went Mario, and then Bayo. So let's see, maybe if, if he's not going to stick with the Rosa, if he goes to one of the other pocket characters like you know Cloud or something. I could definitely see Ray switching to Bayo if he loses this game, number one. Uh, his Bayo was doing okay against still in the previous set. Yeah. Oh, what's happening? Awkward exchange, but we're back down onto the stage. Pretty suspect exchanges. Now, this is going to be like a hard hill to climb for Ray to take home this tournament. He has to win two sets against Dill in best three of five scenarios. When Dill's already, like I said, I, I like to call him the tyrant of Zeno right now because he's yeah. been winning Zeno after Zeno. He hasn't really been getting contested too much. Yeah, you know, right now this is like the Kubo arc. Like, you know, you know how Bleach ended, how it was kind of just like Kubo had to end it early because the magazine was closing? It's like the yeah. same thing. This is like a rushed arc. They were just beating everybody because the author's ending it. Yeah, so. I, 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 mean, <laughs> I just use it to clean my clothes, you know? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I can safely say I've never seen that show. Oh. It's a good show. But, right now. <laughs> Devin's telling me not to. Wow. Wow, don't listen to Devin. <laughs> don't listen to CO Devin. No, it's not. He's lying. The, la the last arc was a little sus because it was ended early. Yes, the last arc was a little sus. He's lying. <laughs> Devin just showed me the trash can. Ly he's lying to you. But right now, <laughs> uh, you know, Dill has Rosa in the last hit situation. Yeah, here we go. He he's just fishing for that up tilt. Yeah, I mean, they're both at kill percent, honestly. If that oh. was a big read. <laughs> Ray! You know, I just love when players get their air dodge red and they just roll their eyes just like, why am I so stupid? Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's definitely like, I'm, I'm so, I'm dumb. Like the I'm biggest eye roll imaginable. 
Dill was telling me when he reviews his matches, he likes to watch the webcam when people die to something just to see how they react. So you, you learn a lot about the players. Oh yeah, no, play I did, style. Oh yeah, I do the same thing because then you can employ that stat strategy to other players, like see what messes messes with their heads. Yeah, like do they do the eye roll? Do they shake their heads? Yeah. A lot of stuff you can take from player cues. Um, I mean, but with that being said, you know, Ray, you know, Stoke as always. He just tumbled down there. 167 percent. Ooh. <laughs> okay. They'll try to walk on my monkey flipping Ray was just like, uh. I'm just gonna jab. So press the A button. Like, what's yeah. going on? <laughs> it looks like we don't need any counter picks coming from Ray. Yeah, right. He's looking pretty strong. He's got him at 64%. Down tilt just to kill Luma. Wow. Yep. He knew exactly how much health he had. He right now taking that percent. Doesn't have that much percent on him right now. 64%. Mm -hmm. Trying to catch the monkey flips. That's kind of gonna be the name of the game. That's what Ray's gonna have to rely on. Ooh. Okay, yeah, unsafe on his shield. Throw, throw him back off stage. Oh, yeah, gravitational pull and the banana, man. That was a weird exchange. Yeah, they both went for a pivot grab. Yeah, and only one of them won. Yeah. <laughs> the only one can win. Yeah. Ray's using a lot more gravitational pull than he did all of last set. I don't think he did it once last set. This is the first, first of me seeing this. <gasps> that down oh, air was scary. <laughs> Thankfully, that platform was there to help Ray out a bit. He was just trying to stall for time. That's that's literally what it, what his game yeah. plan is when he does not when he's limitless. You have to, because like going in Solar Rosa isn't isn't wise. That forward smash was just inches away from Diddy. He's looking for a big read at this point. Just goes for the up smash, sees him, he's gonna land right in front of him. That's the first game he's taken away from Dill today. Yeah. And he went for you know two air dodge regions to take a stop. You know, air dodge the first time. Got forward smash. Air died the second time. Got up smash. So, catching on to some of Dill's tendencies. Believe in the Rosa. Yeah. That's what Ray's got to do. And maybe, and maybe it was one of those things. Like the first set, he's testing out other characters, trying to get a feel for Dill and his play style. And I mean, maybe he got, he took something from it. He's applying it right now. Mm -hmm. It's that cross adaptation. You know, you adapt through the sets, not just the games. Because yeah. this is technically set number two for them. Yeah, multi set conditioning. Yeah, they're they're playing a best two of three set today. Three of five. Yeah. No, best two of three sets. Oh. Like, there's two of three sets in the three of five in the, in, within the sets. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It's like tennis. Okay. Did he just try to get that jab confirmed into an up air? I think he did. I mean, he missed, but like, that would have been crazy. Yeah, that would have been slick. I, I, I would have popped off. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, free. But um, right now, 85% um, on Dill. Yeah, like... Right now, Rage is playing this matchup a lot more cleaner. Like, he's just running into less of Diddy's buttons. Another thing that Ray's doing phenomenally is that he's like, he knows that Dill's entire goal is to get the banana peel. And so whenever the banana peel is on the ground, he's, he plays very protective of it. He like puts Luma on top of it. He knows he's gonna go for it, so he goes for outside. He's starting to do that a lot more often in the previous sets. Oh yeah, no, and, all, yeah. and also he's just, he's just setting up like this wall and then using gravitational pull. Like, just bring the banana towards him. Like, and that's something that the tool that he did not use at all in the first set. So, some uh, definitely some type of adaptation is being taken place. Yeah, I, I was sensing a rocket barrel boost there. It's a very long lasting hitbox and catch launch star. Doesn't even need it. And then he killed himself with that Nair Man in the last zone. Yeah. He could have lived that. Yeah, he killed himself. Got okay, the monkey flip command grab, just pushing both Rosa and Luma away. Yeah, gravitational pull. Not, not the banana belongs to Rosa. And Luma's out of there. He's gonna take this grab in this disadvantageous state. Wants a downer. Oh, that's killed him. It doesn't matter that it doesn't spike. You just you just nick him. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it puts him in such a bad spot that he can't go for the rocket barrel boost anymore. Yeah. Um. One of the, another move that when you get hit by it, your soul loses a little bit of life. Yeah. <laughs> Rosa. Like, yeah. Soft, you just you just downer. feel really sad, you know. Yeah. Like the smallest little tink kills you. Oh my god. He's got the peel in hand. He got a little rowdy there with that dash stack. Downer trying to catch ledge jumps. Ooh, and yeah, and um, Luma just taking the birth of that banana here. Good Luma control coming from Ray. Waited for an air dodge. Good okay, patience for ooh, Dill. Okay, yeah, no, good double up air, because if he did nothing, man, Luma definitely would have done some obnoxious thing on the top of the blaster. Oh, and that's seal pressure by Dill, man. Yeah. A sneaky way to get back onto the stage. Just smack that shield over and over. 
He wanted that banana peel to like go not on that platform. Yeah. There's a lot of Dill's game plans to like spawn the banana peel on the edge of the stage and just try to catch someone recovering. Yeah. Okay, bringing it back. Yeah, 117 percent onto Rosa. Um, one more confirm. One more um down tilt into conversion is gonna kill Rosa. Ooh, spot dodge. That whiffed grab. Yeah, and um, Dale just recovering early because he doesn't want to deal with anything that R Ray might potentially do when he's recovering. He was looking for a back air. Ooh, boost grab. Don't Ooh, catch don't the air dodge. dodge. Don't do it again. Double jumps away from safety. He is so far up. Awesome. I mean, Ray is closing the gap. Like, this was looking like Dill's game to win, but... Yeah, right now, Ray brought this back, and that could have been... That could have been a, the, the game right there. Crazy punish. Saw the monkey flip. Yeah, right now, Ray's pretty much in control at this point. Just goes for, he's going for a lot of safe options. He doesn't want to overcommit. Again, Luma's on top of banana peel. Dill can't really do too much in that situation. Goes for back air out of shield, and he yeah. just drifts into the blast zone. Dill taking away game two. Yeah, and, and even in that situation, I think um, Dill could have even gotten like an up tilt out of shield and would have made him explode. Mm -hmm. So either way, I mean, good stuff by Dill, knowing his options and his awareness. It's I felt like Ray didn't have the balls to go for that up smash. I'm that monkey flip, man. Yeah. Three, two, what is he doing? One, big chill. <laughs> big chill on his phone. Yeah, right now, um, game three on Smash Bros. Okay, so Dill again in the winner's seat. Meaning Ray has to win two sets against this man. Now he's got him off stage. He's doing a lot of short hops out there, trying to expect if he's going to go for like a ledge jump or something. Oh, yeah, and <laughs> Ray waiting for that air dodge. Dill didn't get it for him. He actually got a button instead. What's that little kick? That monkey flip can either be a command grab or that active hitbox. Yeah, right now, um, Dill's just playing that pa just playing more of that patient game. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't want to interact with Rosa like that, because then stuff like this can happen. You're in the air, Rosa's up airing you. You don't know if you're getting hit by Rosa or Luma. Blah, blah, blah. You explode. Yeah. Same stuff. Same old stuff. Again, Ray's going to be doing a lot of this action, trying to send Luma forward. Just, uh, you know, apply a little bit of pressure and towards And that just put them up like that? What? <laughs> that, monkey, that monkey flip. Bro, that just put them up like that. Why'd they do that? It's a strong move. Why'd they do that? <laughs> Some things, sometimes just does. Uh, okay. And that footstool, I mean, look kind of intentional. Yeah. Didn't really get too much off of it. I guess he was trying to wait for like a tech roll. Oh wow, yeah. He tried to he tried to hit um, Ray with the boost pack, the jet pack. Jeb's gonna be able to stuff out Diddy. Okay. Yeah, trying just trying to cross up Ray shield. You know, I haven't seen um, Dill go for any of the just the command grab of the monkey flip. Yeah. He's always going for the kick. It might be a conditioning to like force him to hold shield. Man. Can we just talk about like Diddy's down here, man? It's strong. He, 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 he dunks the crap out of you. He came down a full force. Cancelled immediately just into another button. Yup. Oh, oh wow. Followed the double jump. I've never seen that kill like that. That, that, I've, it I, was I, I've very weird. I've never seen like I know Rosa's light, but I've never seen that kill like that. <sighs> like it looked like he just like it, uh, got obliterated. Like. Yeah, he he actually was erased. That was that death scythe from Ultimate Man. He I've was he was erased from never time. Never seen that kill like that. Before. Oh, got some short hops. He wanted that down air spike. He's not the only one with the spike. Where's he oh, gonna yeah. go? Try to yeah. catch him. Good yeah. evasion from Dill. Yeah, Dill. early up B, and uh, he still got hit anyway with an air. Very baby nair. I mean, Dill's literally just one hit away from losing the stock. Wow, good conversion back here to four air. Focus on Luma. Ray's gonna get rid of the Diddy. Yeah, and I think um, Dill tried to get back to um, the legend. Couldn't get back in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is Ray's strategy. He loves going off stage when he's waiting for Luma. Trying to buy time. Yeah, best way to stall. That actually made Dill trip. Yeah, that gravitational gravitation pull is out a little longer than Dill expected. That wall of forward airs. Um, he okay. actually fell off into a tech situation. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, you could get the slide off. Like, 
even if you're in tumble and you land onto a platform on the stage, you can still just slide off the platform. You can control your character. So. Catches the air dodge again. Spamming the up airs. There ain't no tomorrow. Oh, dash tech. That was definitely a miss I'm putting before it. Yeah, just recovering to the other side of the stage. Not wanting to deal with all this nonsense. And just, who was just eating all these banana hits? That stray DI from that back air. Excuse Spiked Luma, but not Rosa. That Excuse was scary. Excuse me? This is a good situation for Ray. What's that forward air? I was thinking about it. Okay, you know, good good runoff by um, Ray. Ooh, forward to it. Definitely might have been a pivot down to it. Hits him into the Luma. Yeah, good DI. Okay. He was gonna be able to make him slip. Gets rid of the Luma. Not yes, smash full platform. He bounced off of that dare. Jabs it. Yeah, and <laughs> Dill making a face. Knowing that Luma narrowly survived just because that he was at the Smashville platforms in that area. It, is MGW dead? Uh, maybe. Survival. Is he okay? Uh, I don't know. Does he need help? He probably needs some milk. Should we go out there and, like... Yes, yeah, so let me give him some milk. Yo, um... Everybody donate to the MGW Recovery Fund. Yeah, 100%. My man really needs some milk. If you want to wanna add him, add him at Professor MGW. Just uh, add just, him and say wake up. Just 50 cents a day um, will lead him to get a gallon of 2% milk. Go straight into his body. Don't worry So what's about the it. joke behind that? Um, he needs some milk. There's no joke. Oh, okay. He need, look, he, I, he's... Milk's good. That, that is actually... Okay. I, I'm about to get into a rant. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start it now. Oh yeah, no humans aren't supposed to consume cow milk, and you probably drink almond milk or soy milk. Blah blah. blah. Yes, <laughs> we all know this, Austin. Austin, Austin from Nebraska. Okay. Wow, nice back air from Diddy <laughs> Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh. Yeah, Dill yeah, Dylan control this game. <laughs> game uh, four. Okay. He definitely not want a forward tilt. He wanted to get up smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, we've seen that a lot from Dill today. He's been going for a lot of accidental tilts when they're supposed to be smash attacks. Ooh, yeah. Got the full hop on the up forward air. Probably did not want that. Think about that up smash. That monkey kick just killed Luma. Disintegrated. Rest in peace. Gravestone 2018. Yeah, yeah. Rocket Barrel boost. Yeah, ro really good. <laughs> yeah, rocket Barrel. That just catches Rocket. Oh it catches. God. Uh, launch star, dude. It catches a lot of moves. And it just. It actually has so much knockback. It's a long lasting hitbox where you can just t hold it and then let go whenever you want. Yeah, actually a ridiculous amount of knockback. Like. And slick recovery by Dill. Mm -hmm. He's back to the stage safe and sound. Well, and finally gets the command grab portion of it. He wants the down air. I mean, might as well go for it. If that yeah. connects. Man, that um, that down air, man. This auto cancels like that. Ooh, dash attack went right through him somehow. Okay, Luma. See him a lot trying to push his shield pressure with one of these back airs on that platform. Yeah, good command grab. Calling out that gravitational pull. And he was forced to go for that double jump in, before he, like getting caught on that platform while he was drifting away. That d very risky yeah, down air from you, Dill. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't feel about. I don't feel you that. Died one. for that. I don't know about that one, man. Ooh, good spacing baits out the monkey flip. He baited out again. It was just a little bit too slow with the forward air. Yeah. Um. Uh, I think Dill figured something out. A, a different way to get rid of Luma. He's been hitting with a lot of the monkey flip kicks. What that was that trade? trade? What was that trade? What was that trade? What was that trade? Well, Nair traded with monkey flip kick. Nair traded monkey flip kick. Like, Ray was in control that entire scenario. And then... And what? Yeah, he traded. And he died to it. Traded with um, Nair traded monkey flip kick. Like, I'm okay with them trading places, but, like, to die? Man. All right, game five. 
I'm the, not sure. Is, is there more knockback? If you throw an aerial and somebody hits you, do you get more knockback because you throw no. an aerial? That's only when you charge smash decks. Like, I, for some reason, when I when I play sometimes, it just seems like when I'm throwing an aerial and I get hit out of my aerial, I just go exploding. Into Maybe it's because you're inputting the aerial, so you're DIing the incorrect direction from in doing the aerial. Nah, man. It's just like I just evaporate. <laughs> it sounds like you're working on your DI, bro. Uh, directional influence, have you heard of it? Look so, it up on uh, right now we're going to go into Smash Bullet. <laughs> <laughs> so this is game five. It's potentially the final game of this of the tournament. Unless Ray can try to reset this bracket against Dill. But as as history has shown, this is probably going to go into Dill's favor, but we have no idea what can yeah, happen it, here. <laughs> I don't know what Dill just did. He just did a B-reverse pop gun. That sounds yeah, like Dill. And good, and good early up B by Ray. Does not want to want deal with go low, going low against Dill. Yeah, situation. take the damage over taking the death. Yeah. Last thing he wanted is Diddy Kong down here. Okay, mm -hmm. Luma spawned back Wow, in. and he's just playing with the banana. In the banana placement. Good catch. Yeah, I mean, just making Ray a scared, scared to approach. Just like putting that banana down, just like holding center stage. Yeah. He's got 116% on him, spawning that banana peel right into him. Because he let go of shield, he's able to get that back air. He was going to throw it out anyways to try to like just apply shield pressure in case they did shield, but yeah. safe cross-up. Wow, Ooh, and he did not deny that at all. He did. I, that was a mix-up. He went for the immediate forward throw instead of trying to do anything else, so he caught Ray off guard. Yeah, I love Im I, I love immediate throw when you catch them not DIing. Yeah, because that forward throw is fast. Yeah. Ooh. Again, trying to catch the monkey flip, just a little too slow. Yeah, this could... Ray's falling apart just a little bit. Let's see if you can try to like bring this back and just take away Dill's stock. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. Right now, Ray looks like he just lost a little bit of steam. Mm -hmm. Like you know, albeit longer tournaments, like going into a lot of sets can take a toll. On you. Yeah. So and, right now, and also the dread of like if you reset the bracket, you have to do it again. Yeah, can you is, do it again? And this is is this the second game five set in a row? Yeah, this is second game. Second, yeah. Second game five set in a row, man. Can take a toll on you. Forward air. Forward air against that shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ray is just. He's just trying to just pick a spot right now. I, I, I see he's trying to just stay, stay in his game, but right now Dill is just like running a, running a train. Gets the grab. 111%. Yeah, and that down tilt the up smash connecting. Yup. That's all we talked about. That's going to be the tournament uh, for Dill. Congratulations. How's 2000 Dill for winning yet another Zeno? His Man. fourth one in a row. What is going on, New York City? Wake up. Rigged. HO3K rigged.